put a song down. Just perfectly timed. Now, it could be because the audio doesn't actually pump through my headsets when I have it saved as an MP4, and I'm so fucking old and stupid that I can't check it in OBS. That might be what's going on. Hopefully it left off on just the end of the chorus or something, which is pretty much the whole fucking song. I know, I know, I need to get more shit for the intro. I used to have a nice little intro going with a bunch of little uh, vignettes, all lovingly organized one after the other. But what can I say? I lost some of them when I transitioned over to a new computer as I yeah, put that dress on, took some of that estrogen, and moved away from my old, my old rig into my beautiful new life. <laughs> I named my new computer Jazz. It's, it's working out somewhat okay. You know, the disk drive wasn't big enough on the old one to make a new one, if you get what I mean. But we'll, we'll manage. We'll find a way to slap the parts together and call it pretty. How is your Saturday going, chat? How is, how is the week treating you? We live in a... There used to be a post-9-11 world. We live in a post-WikiLeaks world now. I saw a lot of people getting really excited, thinking, Oh my god, WikiLeaks is fucking dumping everything. Holy shit, have you seen it? No, that's just their normal directory. That's all the old shit they've dumped. There's nothing new in there. No dead man switch has been hit yet. So we're going to have to wait to find out about those uh, satanic child-eating parties that Hillary and her cabal have. I'm sure those emails are under lock and key to prevent uh, the plebs from getting upset. But I'm sure it's coming any day now, after they bathe Mr. Assange and tell him to stop throwing shit at the embassy walls. I don't know if any of you caught that, but that was the, uh, the line Ecuador was going for. It wasn't the $4.2 billion guaranteed loan from the IMF that got them to turn over Assange. That's just mere coincidence that that happened before this took place. Now, the reason they got rid of him, uh, according to Ecuadorian officials, aside from him being a pain in the ass, as they've said before, is he was smearing shit on the embassy walls. Very believable. It's the Daddy-05 defense. I don't know if you remember that situation. There's a a video that took place during that entire debacle where the father said that they weren't bringing the kid with them to Disney World because he was smearing shit everywhere. And that's why they were treating him so badly. So Ecuador is pulling a Daddy-05 and claiming that Julian Assange, much like the son in those videos, had been smearing shit upon the walls. I think, I think it was a coded message. He'd eat different kinds of food, and depending on the amount of corn that was in his fecal matter, it was it spelled out some kind of like really uh, really elaborate Morris code, or or even better, the corn in his shit was like Braille. That's the only way you could get the key to decipher the secret WikiLeaks files. You had to go up to the shit wall Mr. Assange set up and rub your hand across it, using the corn as a guide stone to figure out what the secret message was. It's like a box of cra- it's like a box of Cracker Jacks, except the prize is horrible. Nobody nobody wants it. You go digging for it, and it's a fucking mistake to do. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. My God, there's a lot of shit going on, and a lot of it's fun. I get it. You don't like to be put down too much. Nobody wants to feel sad and angry and alone. You want a little bit of happy news. So I've tried to compile happy things to talk about, things that are mirthful, things that will put a smile on your face. So I'll try to keep the cannibalism and rape and race riots to a minimum for today as we look at more upbeat things. We've got a a bunch of stuff, but I thought we could start, well, maybe not upbeat, but at least we could start with this. DLive. Oh boy, everybody's fucking excited about DLive. Have you seen the amount of people running over there? Ever since PewDiePie announced he was going to be giving away $50,000 and there's a little asterisk there. Tiny little asterisks, small print, must read, fine, very small, at the bottom, in Lino points. If you thought thought you're getting that 50k just in your wallet, you're going to put that right in your pocket, I'm afraid you are mistaken. It's in Lino points. I I was trying to remember when I talked about this, uh, either the last stream or the stream before it, how DLive functioned. And I, I think I remember now, I think I remember what the issue was that I had with it. Aside, I, I'm standing by what I said before. Those motherfuckers had a crypto miner. They may not have been for their own cryptocurrency, but that site ran so badly. 
and your CPU usage, GPU, everything was going through the fucking roof. You could see smoke coming off your tower and shit. They were up to some shenanigans. I stand by that. I'm not backing down on that claim. But the, the weird thing about it, and I've seen people comment about it, is the way in which their cryptocurrency is set up. It's not public. You can't mine it. They control all of it. From what I understand, all the Lino points or whatever they're calling it, th there's a set amount that they control. And there's an exchange process. You give them money, they give you Lino points, you spend those Lino points. And then there's a whole bunch of legalese that are included on the terms of service page talking about how you can't profit from Lino points. You can't convert Lino points. Lino points are Lino points. Now, I'm not sure how that's going to work. If I spend 10 bucks through PayPal to give you a donation and you get that donation in Lino points, are you stuck with those Lino points? I mean, if you exchange it, it's always going to be a set rate. But they've seemingly run up into a bit of an issue. Now, somebody had put up a video about two days ago talking about their concerns in regards to DLive. And they had mentioned they thought maybe Pe or PewDiePie had jumped, jumped a little too quickly into it, didn't really look at the details as much as he should have. But that's not the interesting part. I mean, you can have doubts about it or you could believe in it. It's not really that important. What's important is the message that somebody sent this particular content creator after he had done a live stream about it. And I want to, I clipped it. I clipped the relevant section of it. And I'm going to play it for you just to show you how depressing it is. If you remember the last time I did a stream, I talked about how alternatives are nearly impossible to set up. People try, they, God, they try all sorts of things to get an alternative set up to compete with a Twitch or a YouTube. They try to put in the infrastructure to allow you to put up videos or to stream. They try to put in the infrastructure for you to donate and to do all the things that you can do on other websites. And yet they always seemingly run into issues. And DLive really hasn't even hit that PewDiePie boom yet. And already, because of this gentleman's live stream and somebody's response to it, they've run into an issue. So I'm going to play it for you and just kind of show you, I guess, what happens when people try to buck the system. Let me pull this down. I think I can pull this up. Make sure I get it on here. Yep, there we go. All right. I want you to listen. This is a conversation one of his viewers sent into him. It's not really important that you can see it. Just the audio. Buying cryptocurrency via PayPal, it, which is the way that DLive actually transfers currency back and forth, is apparently against PayPal's terms of service. Messaged PayPal and then sent this in, and PayPal responded they're probably going to lock down the uh, they're going to lock down DLive. They're going to lock down DLive, even right out of the gate. Hasn't even really done anything yet, and already some motherfucker has contacted PayPal. And said they had concerns. Is it okay if I if I use their exchange? Is it okay if I use their cryptocurrency? Already kneecapped. PayPal responded to them and said, don't do it. Don't buy Lino points. Don't use DLive service. We're going to pull our support from the website. Now, I'm not sure exactly how PayPal works. But I, I'm pretty sure if you use your account to do something you shouldn't do, they put it into some kind of a lockdown state as they investigate. I know streamers run into that a lot, and I think regular people do as well. And I don't know if that means that people that have used the service or are going to use it are going to get fucked when PayPal decides to pull support and locks down thousands of fucking accounts because they have an issue with the definition of Lino points being cryptocurrency. And I don't know how people are going to support if PayPal is pulled because that's kind of a major way in which people do it. And I don't know if people feel really comfortable using DLive when it turns out it's a Chinese-run company or a Chinese-invested company. I, I, people already have qualms about the fucking Epic Game Store because Tencent is like a 40% majority holder in Epic or some shit like that. And DLive got their $20 million seed money from Chinese investors. So I don't know if people really want to be running out there and giving them bank account information and their credit cards. Seems like it might be a bit, it might be a bit of a fucking issue. So right out of the gate, right out of the gate, they get fucked right up their ass. Try, I don't even know if I trust DLive. Like I said, I have my own issues with it, but I wasn't wishing it ill. And yet it seems that, you know, a day or two before this big boom is supposed to happen, it's already imploding. So I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, maybe pay attention to that if you're considering streaming over there or donating over there. Uh, keep in mind that PayPal might be pulling some shit pretty soon. So if you want to, I guess, buy Lino points or whatever the fuck they call it, uh, just keep that in the back of your head 
when you're using your PayPal account so you don't get locked out of it because they need to investigate for five and a half months or whatever ridiculous bureaucratic bullshit that they have in place to fuck with your account. Because it feels like that's coming down the pipeline. Oh, happy days. Happy days when you try to be a competitor and you just can't do it. Happens time and time again. Either you don't have the funding to do it, like stream or uh, like VidMe. Uh, there are other concerns, like StreamMe. Uh, banks try to interfere with you, like BitChute. Uh, service providers fuck with you, like Gab. And now apparently PayPal screws with you, like DLive. It's like every time somebody tries to rise up just a little bit to offer a tiny glimmer of hope, a little light at the end of the tunnel, something comes along and completely implodes it and ruins it. So we'll see We'll see what happens going forward. I can't uh, say 100% what's going to happen with DLive. I don't know if they have another funding model in place, if they have another alternative in place. I know Subscribestar, which is a Patreon competitor, ran into some issues when banks and credit cards and PayPal were uh, saying they wanted to decline service. And somehow the little Russian guy that runs it found an alternative. So maybe DLive will take that approach. Who knows? Now that is probably, I would say, the most depressing news of the stream. If you could call it that. Everything from here on out is a little bit more upbeat. So I, I wanted to get that out of the way so we can have a happy Saturday. It's a good weekend. It's been a long week full of typical bullshit. You don't want to have your spirits brought down by negative news. Poor little D-Life. Somebody put a bullet in him. He's done. Oh, get him out of here. There you go. He's gone. Let me just check chat here. Funny Hat Guy said, no D-Live for bad goys. Well, that might be what Funny Hat Man said. <laughs> you know, I played Happy Happy Joy Joy uh, at the end of the last stream, which was a depressing one. It was talking about Assange. <laughs> Somebody said it should have been named Happy Happy Goy Goy. Uh, and I think you might be right. I think that's a more suitable title uh, for all things considered. I've got a few super chats. I'm going to read through some of these. I will get to everybody's. Uh, before we end the stream today, but I'm going to try to keep it brief so I can kind of power through these. Mario Carter 13, no message. All right, works for me. Tyrone, bad credit, press G to gas all furries. Always a privilege to support a full a fellow potato nigger. Here's $10. Well, thank you. Memes of, er, of destruction. In the hierarchy of answers, we need the modern world. We will ever truly understand, or will we ever truly understand? Magnets, how do they work? I'm going to need a fucking clown to help me with that. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a science that I can't grasp. <laughs> Terry Hesticles. Honk, honk, my nibbas. Jim is here to make my hangover go away. Andrew Yang has slanty eyes. Well, put a ninja mask on him. Throw him in Mortal Kombat 11 and I'll main him. I'm telling you. Oh, I had my, I had my roster. My stable of boys, right? I was ready to fucking go. I had my list of characters that were ready to go in Mortal Kombat 11. Scarlet. Noob Saibot, and Cabal. And I was very happy with that group. I thought, okay, that's who I'm going to stick with when I learn the ins and outs. And then they drop the Katana trailer. And she uses her ass to attack people. So, pack your shit up, Cabal, and get the fuck out of here. My girl is taking that spot. She is now in the stable. She's right next to Noob Saibot. She's right next to Scarlet. The idea of defeating an opponent with the power of farts is such a humiliating way <laughs> I can't pass that up. I want you to understand Katana is fueled by Braps. Alright. Katana flies across the screen through sheer farting. She shits herself to fling herself at you from across the screen. How is that not the best attack that's ever been devised? I'm sorry Cabal. I like the little running gimmick but you cannot compete with that. Uh, Mario Kart 13 again. Internet Grim Reaper elected to EU. Europe dies. <laughs> Jeremiah Crow, Clayton Clay, James Tomlin. Papa Jim never grew me though. No love for us furry degenerates. From his list, Taros. I've been diagnosed with a tumor in my back. Jim, play Diablo 2 with me. I have not played Diablo 2 in forever. What is Blizzard even doing with their own games? You know, I, I'm a big Warcraft fan, the original, you know, little RTS Warcraft games. And they put up Warcraft 3 on Battle.net. And they're taking pre-orders for it for like 30 or 40 bucks or whatever the price is. But there's no fucking date listed for when it releases. There's nothing. <laughs> and it's been up there for like four fucking months. 
and there's still nothing. What kind of a pre-order is that? How lazy is Blizzard that they can't put a fucking date below the price? So I know if I pre-order it, when I'm going to play the fucking thing. It's like they it's like they don't even care at this point. They know they've got Blizzard fans so over a barrel, they can do anything they want. They sold you fucking mounts for $50 a piece. They sold you the worst fucking loot box DLC bullshit they could come up with. And you loved it. So now they're just going to start allowing you to pre-order games that they don't even know when it's fucking coming out. Just give us your money. Bend over the barrel. Let us piss in your mouth. That's how Blizzard rolls. Oh, do you want to voice some objections to that in Overwatch? I don't think so. We're going to find your Twitter account and we're going to ban your ass. Beautiful. Lovely. Just lovely. Get ready for Alex Lewis Armstrong. Remember the chosen people of God control the world and hate Neekers. The narrator, can you say, Asu isn't for weebs, narrator. Thanks. I probably said that wrong. Do you want an Awu? I can give you an Awu. I learned how to Awu pretty well from uh, Stream Me when we did a stream about, <laughs> about fur fangs doing weird shit. Awu! There you go. Don Gamer Guy, tell Metacarus to turn his system volume off. Read two more here and we'll jump back into some stuff. That guy from that thing. Can I buy a kidney off of you for $2? Mine are broken. I'm fairly certain I like my kidneys. Some spficker. I don't even know how to pronounce your username. It's Rama Rama time. And finally, RPG or 90. Hey, Jim. Don't know if you know, but Ben Shapiro is a pretty good bit where he's assigned a theme song to all the 2020 candidates. Could be fun to figure out some of your own. Maybe. I do like election season. I don't want to get into it too early. I'm going to roll that, that Yang shit into a big election video talking about all the candidates, but I'm just kind of waiting a little bit longer. I want them all to kind of rear their head. I know the Bernie bros over at R. Sanders for president or whatever it's called have already done a million individual donations. Of course they have. Why would they have not done that already? Now, I saw somebody link this earlier, and I thought we could watch it. I know there are a lot of videos on YouTube of people reacting to shit. And there's a specific look that some people get, uh, maybe unfairly or fairly, uh, described as a soy boy look. <laughs> and this dude has the most stereotypical... I, I don't want to spoil it for you. It's a Star Wars reaction... <laughs> it's a Star Wars reaction video. Oh, calm down, buddy. Holy shit. There we go. Calm yourself down. <laughs> there's just there's a lot of shit going on with this video. So I thought we'd watch that a little bit. Have a nice laugh at somebody getting a little too excited over the concept of a fucking Star Wars movie. Have any of them been good? Since the first three, have any of these fucking movies been good? The prequels were complete dog shit. I don't think anybody's really going to argue with that fact. And I don't think the newest two were really that great either. I'll fight you on that. Fuck you, Chad. I will fight you on that. The newer Star Wars movies, they weren't bad, but they weren't good. They were boring. They were so-so. They were okay. All right, I think that holographic uh, Luke dying of a heart attack Jedi mind trick from half the galaxy away shit was fucking bullshit. But I, I don't know. I haven't been satisfied with any of them. But this guy, I guess, is a big Star Wars fan. Loves the shit. Apparently loves it quite a bit. So we'll take a look at his reaction video. Because I, I got to get in on that. Why don't I do loot box videos? Why don't I do high-pitched soy boy dancing videos every time some fucking game or movie comes out? Oh my god, guys! Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited! My Little Pony's RPG Adventure 2019 is going to hit! Holy shit! It's an Epic Game Store exclusive! Oh fucking crap! Oh, Crystal Pony power-ups, guys! As I fucking run around my fucking room like Speedy Gonzalez on meth, all excited about shit nobody cares about for a game that's going to be awful when it finally drops. All right, let's let's take a look at this chat. It's our it's our gentleman. Oh, <laughs> just can I say from the start, looks like he's had a little bit of a domestic quarrel before this video even gets going. I don't know what's on. I don't know what's on the left side of his face. Maybe that's a birthmark. Maybe he's like, what is it? Boris Yeltsin was that the one? They had the giant port of wine stain on his fucking skull. But it looks like he got hit. I want to create a backstory for this because that look is something that needs a backstory. So here's what I imagine. What's his name? Let's, let's find out what his name is. 
Eric Butts. All right, Eric Butts. Here's what I imagined happened. Eric Butts came home from a long, hard day of working at the Geek Squad. And as he walked into his apartment, he heard a rhythmic thumping through the walls. There was a sound of wood against plaster, and Eric was very confused. He couldn't figure out what that sound was. But he knew that his beautiful girlfriend, Becca, was in the apartment, and he suddenly was afraid. What if Becca's, what if Becca's in danger? What if that's her struggling against ropes because we've been robbed? Eric, Eric runs into the bedroom where the thumping is coming from and discovers his beautiful, beautiful girl getting railed by Jamal. <laughs> As he stands there dumbfounded and yells out, Wait a minute! Jamal jumps from the bed with his 14-foot erection swinging wildly in the air and hits Eric Butts right in his fucking face. And ever since that day, he's had that welt. And it never goes away. And every once in a while, his girlfriend licks it to remember the night. That's my backstory. I don't know if it's accurate or not, Chad. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> yes, Chad, she got honked real hard. She got honked super fucking hard. <laughs> let's, let's see how excited he gets about Star Wars. Hey, welcome to a very special trailer reaction. And yes, I'm on vacation, but it's happened. We're here today to watch the first... Finally, the first teaser for Star Wars Episode 9, and I love that it doesn't even tell me the title yet. It just came out like 23 minutes ago. I'm hot and sweaty. It is hot out here. It's beautiful, but it's not about that. I told everybody, even Mary knows, she's actually up at the spa, so I'm all... Oh, I'm sorry. Her name's not Becca. It's Mary. And sure, she's at the spa, buddy. <laughs> that face says it all. She's up at the spa. No, I don't think that's where she is. <laughs> Never start a video out with... I'm hot and sweaty. We'll never start a video out hot and sweaty in the first place. But then don't explain to the audience in your white t-shirt with your neck all fucked up. Looks like you got a rash from the tide you're using that you're all hot and sweaty. Oh, good. That, um, you know, when this trailer came out, I was going to shoot this. So bear with me. Hopefully the sound's going to be okay. Picture's going to be okay. I, she's not here to help me shoot it, which is kind of unfortunate, but I've done some testing. I think we've got it. Uh, the teaser is loaded, buffered, ready to go. So hopefully internet here is not a problem. And man, oh man. Do you think he's on his honeymoon? That looks like a hotel room. Could you imagine? You're on a honeymoon with your husband. And he's like, no, honey. Star Wars just came out. I need you to go to the spa for an hour. So I can shoot a reaction video. My audience needs it. <laughs> he made his poor fucking newlywed wife go to the spa to get dicked by some random dude. Because he is just, look at that. That's the eyes of a killer. That's the eyes of a man that's going to turn you into a mannequin. If you don't say yes to whatever his weird demand is. So, um, yeah, sorry I'm a little hot and sweaty, but you know, it's, it's awesome. It's been a great day already. So if you want to see this trailer without me in the way, there, of course, is a link in the description below, or something's popping. Yes, Chad, I see that. Two separate beds. Maybe he's, <laughs> maybe he's a big fan of 1950s TV. You know what I mean? Like, it's a Leave it to Beaver thing for him. <laughs> he LARPs so hard, he's so into role-playing, that even his married life has to be like a 1950s television show. That or his wife has a stick she pokes him with to make sure he's a certain amount of distance away from her so there's no physical contact. Up right about now, you can click on that, check it out, come on back, watch me watch this, and we're going to geek out of it together because it's Star Wars. I'm sure I'm going to cry. This is the end of the trilogy. I know there's a lot of haters of Last Jedi. I'm not saying your feelings are invalid, but um, I still love everything about Star Wars. It is still the best thing in the world to me outside of Mary and, um, you know. It's the best thing in the world to me outside. Here's my list of things I'm grateful for in my life. Number one, my wife. Number two, Star Wars. <laughs> oh, dude. Maybe, I don't, maybe expand that a little. Star Wars shouldn't probably be in the top 100. <laughs> there should be a few other things there between your wife and this fucking Disney movie. I'm really, really looking forward to this. So if it's not your thing and you're hating on it, just just let us have have a good time here because this is about a, a place to you know have fun with it. And um, you know if there are plenty, I'm sure there'll be plenty of places for you to go complain if it's not your bag. To each their own. I'm not judging anybody. I got tissues on standby. It's two minutes. We're probably gonna watch it twice. Uh, it's gonna be a little hard for me to see. I hope it's not that dark. But um, yeah. Oh man. Why would it be hard to see with your glasses on? <laughs> this is almost like a bad SNL skit about nerds. Like <laughs> this, these are my uh, these are these are my fashionable glasses. The real ones that I use to look through are actually twenty times as thick, and I need to use a wheelbarrow to cart them around because the glass weighs more than my little arms can carry. Uh, we have waited a long time for this. 
Let's do it. Uh, Stardust. Check out the Stardust app. Look up the Eric Butts. Use the link in the description below. Okay. I'm in vacation brain, but oh my god. Here we go. No, Chad, I didn't catch that. Did he say, did he actually say did he actually say tissues on standby? I don't think that's because he's sniffing. I think he's got tissues on standby for another reason. I'm not gonna back it up, I'll take your word for it. Oh hold on, you know what? I'm gonna restart it because I wanna hear I had my speakers muted because of work I was doing. Sorry about that. I'm gonna turn this puppy up. There we go. And let's do this. You see how he reacted to the heavy breathing? That's nothing Mary's ever done. Do women really make noises like that? Let's do this. You see that smile? How his lip curled up at the breathing? Oh my god, women can make noises. Oh my God! She's got milkers. Oh, Mama's got milkers, and I wanna, I wanna, I wanna drink the Jedi juice. Oh, Mary, Mary, please dress up as her so I can drink your delicious milkers, your Jedi juice. Oh, I wanna feel the force all over my face, Mary. We've passed on all we know. <laughs> Ooh. A thousand generations live in you now. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm gonna take this fucking video and I'm gonna insert other things in place of the Jedi trailer. The faces he's making and the noises he's making demand it. <laughs> Look at that face! Oh, I ejaculated on the floor. Mary, get the mop! A thousand generations live in you now. <laughs> he sounds like he's having a really powerful orgasm. Like, if you heard these noises in the stall next to you in a bathroom, he'd be like, dude, stop jacking off, I'm trying to take a shit. But this is your fight. <laughs> He's fucking crying. This dude is fucking crying over a Star Wars trailer. <laughs> By the way, this is the look he had on his face when he caught Becca with Jamal. Mary's the side chick. She's the new girlfriend. This is the look on his face when he walked in to see Jungle Lovin' happening to his girlfriend's pussy. Oh my god, it's 14 feet long. How can I compete? We will see it through the tears. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's fucking ooking like a monkey. <laughs> I swear he ooked. He fucking ooked. That's like a level beyond normal soy. When you start ooking like fucking a zoo animal, there's something going on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it just... <laughs> he sounds like he's dropping the world's biggest load. Ooh! He can't even fucking talk. What's your Carlo? He's so excited over Star Wars, he's, he's suffocating himself. The soy has literally forced itself out of his fucking testicles, up through his body, and is choking him. Even it is saying, the soy which permeates the very essence of who he is, has gathered together collectively to kill him. Because he's taken it too far. Dude, it's a Star Wars trailer, stop it. You're, you're embarrassing me and I'm soy. I, I'm gonna kill you now. I'm gonna choke you out. Wait. <laughs> okay, chat. What video are we gonna replace this with?
what possible video could we put in place? I want to put Holocaust footage over the Star Wars video. I want to put Holocaust footage over the Star Wars video and send it to mainstream media and say, this is the biggest Brent Tarrant fan that's ever existed. You know that New Zealand shooter? This guy runs his fan club. Look at the shit he's uploading on YouTube. even go from here this video is another six minutes i i haven't watched this before we've watched this i just i just saw like the first 10 seconds i was like okay this should be entertaining I, I, what I, do you think she's gonna show up do you think she's gonna show up and just pack her bags to leave maybe she heard him filming this from the hallway and she's trying to come up with a script in her head for what she's gonna say to leave him right now maybe we're gonna watch magic in the next six minutes <laughs> yes oh my god how, how 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 do they make this more and more epic every time how do they make this more and more epic every time i mean just this, this the variation of the standoff in the desert um and then doing the backflip into his tie fighter i mean that's the stuff of like legends you know and, oh my god like the swoop bike stuff and 3po hanging off was that was that was that a night of ren kylo was going to town against the emperor What's with the Emperor laughing? Way too excited for a Star Wars trailer that's like two minutes long. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like media that's really exciting to me, entertainment that I'm very invested in, whether it's a game or a movie or a television show. And I don't think I've ever been driven to tears over it. I don't think, I don't think I've ever sat there waving my little arms with tears in my eye because of a Hollywood product. There's some great movies out there. There's some good shit. That we got emotional plots and all of that. But never have I seen a trailer where where I where soy tried to force itself in my throat to kill me because I was spazzing out too fucking hard. Are they actually Oh my god. And wait, maybe they're gonna confirm that Anakin was actually like it's you know, it's strongly hinted, kind of confirmed that Anakin Skywalker is this prodigy of 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 um the Emperor. I Oh my God! And Billy D, man, he looks so good. He was wearing like the the, the yellow from uh, from uh, from ha ha ha. Ah, that's a post orgasm face. See, he's calming down now. <laughs> All those endorphins have released. He's starting to oh, get that post glow going on. Everything's doing good. Everything's feeling good. He doesn't even feel that injury on his cheek anymore. Maybe that's a little tattoo. Maybe it's like a little miniature Star Wars tattoo and we don't have a good enough resolution to make out what it is exactly. <laughs> I don't want to watch another five minutes of this. I'm sorry, Chet. I think we got the bulk of it. That uh, like-dislike ratio not really working out in his favor. 400 to 2,500. Uh, 2,500 down, 400 up. I don't know why his video of all things was chosen. The comments aren't really the nicest either. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. Uh, Leon Nash, this is exactly why the Western civilization is crumbling. Uh, that's going to be a yikes for me, dog. I was shaking throughout this entire trailer. My wife's son enjoyed it, too. I keep screaming, but God doesn't hear me. This dude looks like he was watching his family being killed in front of him. Dude, get a better hobby. There's something wrong with your mind. Not a lot of positive support for our boy here. <laughs> it's, it's a dark day for Star Wars fans, I guess. Oh, very sad. Very, very sad. I'm sorry for that gentleman. Could have worked out so much better for him. Oh, let us see. I thought that was a nice little palate cleanser after our, our D-Live uh, discussion. Hey, yeah, lighten the mood up a little bit. Oh, let's see here. Move that out of the way. Get that going. Uh, now... I, yeah, I'm not a I, I'm not a Reddit user, so I can't really give you the backstory of what we're going to be talking about here. But I think you'll appreciate it for its its aspects of humor. 
<laughs> because I certainly do. So apparently there's a gentleman by the name of Patrick. And Patrick, I guess, decided to get into a pissing match with the uh, the subreddit Opie and Anthony. Now, I don't know exactly what set it off. I think people might have been impersonating Patrick, and Patrick didn't like it too much. So, <laughs> well, I, uh, let me just get this lined up for you. Let me just get this all all set up and ready to go. Because, uh, you know, they weren't, they weren't the nicest with our friend here. <laughs> if you saw the obnoxious shit this asshole said and the reaction he got because of it, I think it's pretty good. Uh, okay, let me... Now, I, I, you know, this is, I think, too, a very good example of how not to react to getting shit on the internet. Probably this is not how, how you want to approach it, I'm going to guess. <laughs> saying, saying things like this. Uh, let me get let me get this lined up. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, backstory on this is he gets into a pissing match with the subreddit, and uh, they make fun of him, and he doesn't like that. So he comes back with the world's best threat. Of course, when you're getting shit on the internet, what better way to make people stop laughing at you than to threaten to sue the shit out of everybody? But Patrick kicks it up a notch. He's not just satisfied with that. Now he wants to he wants to take it a step above and beyond. You know, God bless his little autistic heart. I guess he decided that um, they needed to be taught a lesson, so <laughs> he decided to do this. Oh, Patrick, what are you doing? Uh, this was put up on his Instagram. Uh, what's this? An Excel spreadsheet with 300 IP addresses. How interesting. It turns out our little boy decided to tell them that he was going to super hack the subreddit and get everybody's IP address and then sue everybody. Now, I'm sure you've, you've seen the threats before from people like Kurt Eichenwald talking about how Twitter users made him piss his pants and shit himself and then flop around on the floor because he had a, a seizure. They sent him a strobe gif. And uh, he was able to get those IP addresses simply by contacting Twitter through a lawyer for a lawsuit. Patrick, on the other hand, no, he's a, he's a tech-savvy big boy. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> so our, uh, our big boy here, Decided to really, really stick it to him. But let's take a look at a few of his uh, interactions on their subreddit before we look at their response. Just to kind of see what kind of our, a guy, our Patrick is. And then I'll show you how long this, uh, this history between apparently this subreddit and this asshole have been going on. Uh, this is his account, at least I think it is. Uh, let me just, it gives you an idea of the gentleman, of what kind of guy he is. Uh, talking about looking forward to the discovery process, he's really ready to sue. Nothing this sub could do to get me to participate. Uh, always love it when they do this. When you start seeing them say honey child, sweetie, and shit like that, kiddos, kiddos are always good too. Can't read the dates, huh, sweetie? Congratulations, you figured out how to spell my name correctly and find my website and email address, both of which are public. That's all you need to anonymously impersonate me in the comment thread. Seriously, children, to be honest with me, how pathetic do your lives have to be that this is how you spend your time? Lying about someone you don't know? And why do you uh, never have the courage to confront what went wrong in your life that you think that falsely makes someone look like a racist when they do the opposite is funny to you? Do you need hugs? Because I'm not going to hug you. What I'm going to do is very carefully detailing every last shred of your harassment campaign, coordinating with your other targets, and with your help, putting together a very strong libel case against each of you individually. If you were smart, you would stop this now. But I know you aren't. So Patrick made his legal threats, told the told this innocent little subreddit that he was going to <laughs> that he's gonna fuck with them and sue them and get their IP addresses. I just want to show you what their reaction was because it gave me a chuckle. And we'll, <laughs> we'll move on to something else. Uh, didn't have the exact uh, intended consequence, I guess, uh, that they they thought uh, <laughs> that he thought was coming. All right, let's let's take a look uh, at the very serious response they gave. Uh, Patrick and his threat of a, a lawsuit against every single person. Uh, this is uh, posted by one of the users. A little taste of the spreadsheet I'm compiling, children. Keep thinking this is a game. All the usernames are listed. Let's look at some of the offenses. Oh, you can see the IP addresses. All 127.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
challenged me to fight and called me a pedophile. Said I gave him the creeps, called me Amy Schumer. Called me a nigger. Said I have flabby arms and jelly tits. Said I have a double chin. Implied I have no fan base. I have millions of fans, child. <laughs> They're not liking that very much. Not taking it very seriously. Not taking... This was my favorite, though. I saw Patrick rape an infant. No rumor. I went to a comedy show in Milwaukee and witnessed this after it ended in his car. My word against his, it absolutely happened. He can call me me names all he wants to disgrace me, but I will not help hide this monster, and I will not be silenced. <laughs> what are you doing? Why, why would you threaten random fucking people on the internet with lawsuits, Patrick? What the fuck are you thinking? Worked out really well. Worked out really, they're really taking it well uh, with your bullshit. Very, very smart decision. And apparently, this has been going on for a while. He has a blog where he writes about being bullied on the internet. Uh, this was an article he wrote. How Twitter, or how trolls hack Twitter to silence the rest of us. Hello, my name is Patrick S. Tomlinson, formerly Stealthy Geek and Patrick Tomlin One, both of which are now suspended. Some of you may know me as a science fiction author. More of you probably know me as the one guy who wrote the abortion thought experiment that went viral last October. This was uh, archived, by the way, October of last year. And here's the Opie and Anthony subreddit. And the fucking title of the thread, Remember This Faggot? Not, uh... <laughs> he's suspended now. Good job, team. And, uh, yeah, he, he, it's an entire fucking blog crying about getting fucked with on Twitter. Crying about being made fun of on Instagram. And getting suspended. And how they won't stop bullying him. How he's how he's a uh, victim in all of this. I wish I knew more of the backstory for you. I just like that somebody compiled a list of IP addresses with offenses to help Patrick out for his future lawsuit and suing this subreddit. A uh, good shit. <laughs> Best of luck, Patrick. I'm sure you're going to light up the night and really teach these motherfuckers a lesson. I'm sure, I'm sure they really have it coming to them. Okay, I've fallen a, a bit behind on some of these Super Chats. I'll, I'll read a few here, and we'll jump back into some more stuff. Uh, that guy from that thing... Uh, okay, that was a... read that one. Let me just skip up here a little. Iron Wolf Spirit. Jim, check out uh, Dame's newest video, please. Rip free speech. Also, I'm buying land soon. I'm leaving New York City. Can't wait till I can buy my first gun. Mr. Fug. Hey, Jim, do you own any crypto? If, uh, if so, which ones? If not, why not? Thanks for the stream. Hope you have a good one. Uh, well, I do not own any crypto. I, I view it as monopoly money and not something I really <laughs> that I really want to use, I'm going to be honest with you. I know there are a lot of people out there that have made a lot of fucking money off of crypto. Uh, to me, it just doesn't feel secure. I get it. You make a lot of money doing it. People feel safe using it. They like it as an alternative form of currency. Fine, I get you. It's just that step of uh, transferring it from being a cryptocurrency into fiat money to being able to use it in the real world, that's where I get a little iffy on it. Because if banks decide they've had enough, if the government decides it wants to step in, uh, if they if they start fucking with exchanges or money lenders, what are you going to do? You're going to be stuck with a digital currency that you can't convert into anything. Uh, Elvin Adams, yiddle me this goy man. What advocates for no barriers yet has many walls? Oh, I'm going to say Israel. <laughs> what, what, is, that what is that what you're going for? I'm not sure. Oh, oh. One second here, chat. I hate I hate how they have the system set up. Should be much easier to use, but it's not. Okay, I, th I might miss a few here. Uh, Rayon, you excited for Sargon's Parliament run? Well, you know, now that you brought it up, let's uh, let's talk about it for a second. Where are we here? There we go. So our favorite Applebee's waiter is going to be running for an MEP position. Uh, one of two candidates in his geographical area, however they have it worked out. And uh, he's, he's giving it a serious run. Uh, Godspeed. I hope, uh, I hope my waiter can at least get me my food to me hot before he, uh, he goes and saves Europe. Now, I think during his you know, acceptance speech, when UKIP put forward the nomination to have him as a, a contender, as a candidate, uh, he had told people, all we need to do is get Donald Trump to tweet about Gamergate and Europe is saved. Not sure how that strategy is going to work over there, but maybe it'll work out for him. I don't want to be a negative Nancy. I don't want to be a, a Debbie Downer. Maybe our favorite waiter will save the day. 
All I know is I'm really looking forward to watching this unfold. Will Nigel and his new Brexit party cuck the shit out of him? Who knows? That's a, that's a mystery that's going to have to be solved in the upcoming days. But to answer your question, yes, I have I have seen the news. And I am very much looking forward to seeing how it plays out. Should be, should be uh, entertaining. Cosmic Dorgren, listening to you at a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, mercy to my nose. Oh, yeah. You got a clothespin over it? Uh, <laughs> did you bring a bar of soap for your competitors so you don't smell their balls from across the fucking uh, room? From Sword and Scales, hey, Jim, check out the downfall of the Sword and Scale via SJW Outrage Culture. Would love to talk to you about it. I will check it out, and if you want to get together and chat about it, uh, hit me up, or I should say, hit my good friend, Mr. Antibully, up on Twitter, which is a, a good way to get a hold of me for whatever reason. Baby Metal Rocks. Hello, Jimbo. Uh, hello to you. The Red Elephant, Vincent James. Swing by. Keep up the good work. James Tomlin. Read somewhere that you were planning on moving to Texas eventually. If that's true, I'll buy you a pint when you make it over for the laughs. Yes, actually, my goal uh, within the next five years is to move to Texas. Um, the housing prices down there are pretty phenomenal. Uh, you can get a lot of land and a really nice house for, you know, if... Comparing where I am in the Midwest, if you wanted to spend $200,000 uh, compared to what you would get for spending $200,000 in Texas, it's night and day. I mean, you can get a really fucking great piece of property and a really nice house in Texas for what you'd be paying up here for, for nothing. Um, so that's one of the main motivators. And I just kind of like Texas. So uh, it's, it's something I'm looking forward to, but that's, that's a ways away. Terry Hestigles, 50 more shekels as a thank you for coming back to YouTube. Question, worst father, Carl Benjamin or Eric Clapton? I don't know much about Eric Clapton, to be honest with you. I couldn't tell you. Uh, based on this, though, I'm going to guess he did some fucked up shit. <laughs> is, there, is there an Eric Clapton uh, uh, documentary we could watch to learn of the fucked up shit that he did? <laughs> is this a confirmed thing that Eric Clapton has done? Like Steve Jobs having AIDS confirmed? Or is it just speculation? Uh, Mark Young, Sparks, you better not be skipping on PT today and running two miles. J.D. 1989, Trump should repeal the Heart Seller Act. From Lipa, the show Billy and Mandy has a character named Spurg. Probably not something you could do this day and age, with everybody being so fucking hypersensitive. From RJ, I've been waiting for this stream. Here's some dollary dues for my favorite YouTuber. I'll read a few more here and jump back in. From Mexican American Male, Bing Bing Wahoo. Bing Bing Wahoo, back at you. From Beck's Fire, Assange wiping feces on the wall. Talk about your smear campaign. Solomon Gutty, have you heard about the YouTuber Oxyhorn? Huge lolcow. Yeah, somebody linked me to a video uh, about Oxyhorn yesterday, saying that he was exposed, uh, that there's some weird shit going on. Uh, I'm not, I didn't get a chance to watch it, so I don't really know anything about him. Uh, two more here, and we'll, we'll jump back to some stuff. Uh, ben Dover, Obiyami, and finally, uh, Gage Bruce. Hey, Jim, love your videos. Could you call Andrew Roman or Romaninsky an inbred troglodyte? Let me make sure I get that name right. Andrew Romaninsky is an inbred troglodyte. Thank you for all the entertainment. Uh, well, there you go. Uh, let's see, where do we want to... I've got some really happy news. One of our, you know, one of the good guys that exists out on the internet tied the knot. And I want to celebrate his happy occasion. But I don't want to jump into it just yet. We're gonna we're gonna do a little reminiscing about one of the OG YouTubers. All right, biggest guy out there. Kind of started the Let's Play thing. Kind of started the video game rage thing. All right, he's uh he's our boy, and he tied the knot with a lovely lady. <laughs> and so we'll take a look at that, and we'll take a look at uh, just some history of him. You know, a, a little bit of nostalgia trip. Uh, I used to cover him a bit on another channel, had a little fun watching some of the stuff he did, haven't done it in like three or four years, figured, you know what, in celebration of his happy day, we're going to do that. We're going to take a look at one of the most badass guys out there. That's right. I know some people are picking up on it. Some, be <laughs> some people are picking up on it. Uh, but before we do that, well, two things really, before we, we jump into that. Uh, we talked about a little bit of o and A. I'm going to talk about a little bit of e and A. When we get back, I'm going to take a small break. I'm going to grab a drink, take a piss. If you need to do that, I'd suggest you do that. We'll take uh, four minutes here. Come back. You'll figure out what e a is when I when I drop it. Apparently, uh, a, quite a funny video drop. People said I should take a look at it, so I'll play it on stream, and we'll 
we'll see what we think of the speculation and then after that we're gonna we're gonna go down memory lane and talk about talk about a big a uh, big badass uh, video game guy I don't want to spoil it and give it away I'll give you a hint water wells in Africa so let me put up a nice little song a little song everybody loves something to celebrate the time with go use the bathroom grab yourself a drink we'll be back in five minutes enough time to run and grab myself a drink let me get that out of the way so <laughs> uh somebody said that a uh, a big secret got exposed and that i i needed to watch this video uh, because it's amazing talking about deep dark secrets that happened uh, just a month or two ago i i couldn't tell you but i figured we we would watch it we will watch it together and uh see what we think see what we think like i said we talked about o and a now let's take a look at ENA. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Here we go. I think it should be lined up and ready to go. Uh, this is up on a, uh, a channel run by a gentleman named CRP, Coach Red Bill, on his alternative channel, The Shitstream. It's a, a supposedly a shocking revelation, the truth about Ethan and Andy. Let's see what the truth is. Let's find out what's going on here. You know, I've been thinking about doing this video for the longest time, you know. I mean, you know, even with guys that are no longer your friends, even with guys that you consider enemies, there's a certain level of respect or discretion or what have you. I mean, uh, secrets that you learn, you keep to yourself, right? Uh but ah, fuck it, you know. I mean, like people know, people know already. So I might as well just uh, tell people, yeah, you know, Andy and Ethan in Knoxville uh, were together. <laughs> what? Okay, <clears throat> okay, all right. Let's let's hear them out. Let's see where this goes. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and they were pretty open about it, but like the rest of us just. You know, just kept quiet about it. I mean, Andy did, you know, fuck Pinecone, but um, I, I guess Andy just goes both ways. But uh, Ethan told me that, uh, you know, when he was in jail, he just discovered a, a, a different facet of himself. You know, and I, I'm perfectly fine, you know? I mean, like, I, I don't go that way, you know? I don't know, I'm going to have to press X here a little bit to doubt. I don't know, chat. You, you tell me. Can you picture Andy Worski and Ethan uh, from the Ralph Retort having uh, homosexual sex with one another? <laughs> just, is this like a King of Pole Outlines thing going on? Let's get a one for yes and a two for no. 
I'll let chat be the decider on this one. <laughs> Do you think Coach is telling the truth? One for yes. Uh, two for no. Two for I'm pressing X to doubt. I'm seeing a lot of X's pop up. I'm seeing a lot of X's pop up. <laughs> Just, I don't, why would he wait till now to say this? Why, why would he wait after they had a fight like two months ago to this day to be when he releases this? This hot piece of information about uh, the gay sex affair nobody knew about. Now, uh, <laughs> there is one thing I do, you know, uh, full disclosure, full disclosure now. Let me, let me find it first. I don't want to, don't want to spoil it. Oh God, I really don't want to spoil it. So give me one second. I don't know how far back this is. Okay, I found it. Uh, this is a, a video uh, from a live stream recorded April third. Now, coach is alleging that Andy and Ethan had a gay love affair. I've never really seen <laughs> any behavior that would uh, hint at that, with the exception of one video. Uh, so let's take a look at the video. It's up on Mr. Anti-Bully's Twitter. Uh, this is how those Lifetime TV movies start. Well, let's take a look. If anyone were to go after you, yeah, I know that. no matter what, yeah. you know I got your back. I know that. It says stop. What? No, no, put him up, put him up, put him up, put him up. Put him up. Andy, you kiss me, I will hit you. <laughs> no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying to read anything into this. I, I, I full screen it, but I backed out because I don't know if that's showing up if I full screen it. I'll back up a little bit, but let's take a look. Andy, phone call broken. Andy, phone call broken. Andy. Andy, keep your fucking clothes on. You kiss me, I will hit you. Uh, no, I'm not thinking about it, Andy. I was going to start the show regardless. Andy? Andy? So, you know, take it take it as you will, chat. <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, based on that clip, I'm going to say if Coach's speculation has any, any validity to or validity to it, I'm thinking Andy might be the, <laughs> might be the bottom of that relationship. Just throwing it out there. But yeah, I'm going to have to give a massive X to doubt on that one. <laughs> Unless Coach has uh, some documentary footage he's never released before. Uh, but as I said, somebody sent that. <laughs> and they said I should check it out. So uh, there you go. I checked it out. But now on to the main course. Because we got, we got a boy here. We got a boy who's got a special day. And let me get it all lined up first. Get all uh, the special announcement shit set up and ready to go. And then uh, you can talk about it. Okay, here we go. Now, some of you might know who Phil Burnell is. Uh, Dark Side Phil. DSP. The father of Let's Players. The preeminent video game enthusiast on the internet. He's got an eight-year legacy. Well, nine-year legacy now. A nine-year legacy. And our boy, well, he tied the knot. Happy day. DSP has found him a woman. And he is, he's netted her up. He tied that bitch up. She ain't going nowhere. Well, <laughs> I don't know how he did it. Maybe he had a tranquilizing gun we didn't know about. But DSP is married. First night home as a married man. Life is good. That's from the 13th. That's, that's, wait, wait a minute. That's 1 a.m. this morning. First night home as a married man. Life is good. Ooh. DSP has a wife. DSP is married. Which probably means he's had sex. Which is a frightening fucking thought, to be honest with you. Posted on his info, uh, uh, on his Instagram. First night home as a married man. Life is good. There's a picture of the ring. Uh, you couldn't even tell he got that out of a vending machine. Doesn't even look plastic. <laughs> it's very lifelike. Almost looks like it's real metal. I'm very impressed with DSP. There you go. Another picture of the uh, happy couple. Surprise, we got married. It was a tiny ceremony, and my suit is 10 years old. But we're so happy. Full story coming this weekend. There's the 
him and her uh, wedding rings. And look at that. That is so beautiful. You can't even tell it's a wax you know, sculpture. It looks lifelike. These real dolls are actually getting very real. Now, I'm not sure how he propped her up. Maybe there's like a broomstick holding the back up. But you, you could look at that and think it's an actual person. It's very impressive, DSP. Oh, can you believe it? Nine years he's been playing video games on the internet, and our boy is married. <laughs> he tied the nut. Sorry, Panda Lee. You don't get none of this. All that YouTube money, it's going to my real wife. You can go sell your fucking soap by the curb. Nobody wants it. I've got me a new girl. And we're starting a life together. We're hitched. We are hitched together. So I thought, because uh, DSP is obviously celebrating this happy occasion, we could take a look back at some DSP-related things. Pull up some stuff on YouTube. Have a little bit of fun. Just look at the DSP of yesteryear. <laughs> Which includes a lot of shit. Uh, okay, I think that's the one we want to start with. Oh, God, where's... Uh, this is going to be... What's up, is this the one where he flushes... Yeah, I think this is the one where he flushes bacon down the toilet. <laughs> There's a video of this dude cooking food. He, like, he takes his... I, I never understood this. I'll just explain the story while I look at a little... A little video footage in the background. I'll tell you what a great cook DSP is. I'm sure his wife's super fucking thrilled. Waking up every day to the fresh aroma of toilet bacon. Because who doesn't want to eat toilet bacon? It's God's <laughs> God's most bountiful food on the face of the earth. There we go. I'll just beat it. I'll let this play. Let me pick it somewhere in the middle here. doesn't really matter. So there's this video of DSP cooking. And I don't, I don't understand this. I, I never have understood this. So he's cooking up bacon, which I guess is a staple food that this man loves quite a bit. And he decides that, you know, God, the pan got really greasy. So what, what am I going to do with all this bacon grease that's accumulated in my, in my cooking pan? So he takes his fucking, it's like a Masiokis thing. He takes his fucking pan into the bathroom and flushes his fucking grease down the toilet. <laughs> I, I don't understand. It's like he can't even operate cooking properly. He cooks like he plays video games. Very confused. It's, it, it, it confuses him. It, it kind of fucks with his head a little bit. Where does bacon grease go? Obviously down the toilet. <laughs> I wish he did more of these. He stopped doing them. I think because his uh, detractors were getting on his ass too much about it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, detractors was the title that DSB gave people who uh, disliked his content. He would call them detractors. He didn't. No, to be fair, he did have a spurgy group of A-logs that would fuck with him. Oh, excuse me. Uh, pulled. I pulled a Philip. God, you talk about DSP and suddenly you're belching on stream. <laughs> I did not plan that. It's like some kind of weird psychosomatic thing. Any contact with DSP will make you belch uncontrollably. But uh, he had a very spurgy group of people uh, that would fuck with him on a daily basis. Not just trolling. But, like, they got to the point where they were quite literally building water wells in Africa to try to one... I don't know how that works. It, one's, it was to one-up him somehow. Like, look at us. We're, we're buying charitable things in the uh, fucking middle of nowhere. Why don't you do it? And then they attached his name and face to it as, I guess, a big fuck you. So every time some Ethiopian took a drink, they'd thank DSP as <laughs> some kind of massive troll on their part. Oh, DSP, I cannot believe he's married. I cannot believe this motherfucker found a woman that will tolerate his shit. <laughs> oh, think about that. I don't know how old you are watching this right now. Maybe you're in your late 20s or your early 30s. And you're planning your life. I just want you to know that this dude, DSP, owns two homes and he's married. How does that work? I, it's like he's got some kind of Teflon coating on him. No matter how big the fuck up is, no matter how stupid the shit he does is, he somehow comes out through it in the end smelling like roses. YouTube channels get demonetized, gets them back. Uh, networks drop them, gets a new one. Gets kicked off YouTube, instantly on Twitch. Loses money from doing something stupid, finds a way to gain it back. He's like a, he's like a fucking unicorn. He's like the one fuck up that no matter what he does, he will always come through in the end 
just fine. I, I'd almost wager that if we had World War III tomorrow and they launched nukes at us, whatever fictitious country you can come up with, launched a full-out nuclear attack against us, and it was devastating, hundreds of millions of people dead, cities in ruin, he would be streaming the next fucking day, somehow. He would, he would be streaming the next day, telling you that he needed $17,000 to pay his taxes. That's how... I don't know how he does it. Oh, you know what we should watch? I think this... I, I think this should be up here. Oh, I probably need to... That's probably not enough information to find what I'm looking for. Oh, there used to be a... Okay, I think this might be... I think this might be it. People create the weirdest shit for this guy. But here we go. It's a DSP snort montage... <laughs> That's eight minutes long, taken from only two months. Let's uh, let's give it a listen. Pee tries it. Does he snort so much? I've never really figured it out. I know he said he has gout. I understand that. Like, uh, gout's like a, you ate too much red meat or you didn't eat enough red meat. Some fucking thing like that. But he, he's, he sounds like somebody's trying to jumpstart a fucking rusty motorcycle. It's just, that's 27 seconds of it. And it just keeps going. It does. It does sound like a little piglet. It's a little piglet. <laughs> it's, a, it's a piglet fill. A tiny little piglet. Somebody should animate that. Tiny little piglet fill. <laughs> I just, I never, I never understood why he snorts so much. He said, he, I think he said he had like some kind of allergy condition, but I'm pretty sure allergies don't last all year long. <laughs> I'm fairly certain they don't. Oh, let me, let me see if I can find this particular video. Uh, cause it's it's fantastic. Oh my God, can I find it? I'm I'm looking for one. Maybe you can help me out and send it to my good friend, uh, Mister Anti Bully on Twitter. I'm looking for a particular animation somebody did to his narration of the Pandalee ER visit. I, I'm fairly certain that should still be up. Hopefully, <laughs> somewhere on the internet. Oh, my God. I, I wish I had found this ahead of time. Did he get it taken down? Sometimes this motherfucker can get shit pulled pretty quickly. Uh, give me one moment to find it. We'll, we'll watch that because it's pretty special. That was the uh, girlfriend he had in his last relationship. Things went a little bit south when she had to go to the hospital and he told her, basically, suck it the fuck up. I'm not interested. What are you doing? Oh, boy. Oh shit, Boomer Jim's fucking it up again. Fallen, fallen through here. God, other people have animated? How many people have animated this? I got a this? message. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, uh, okay, I think... <laughs> okay, I found it. Perfect, I got it, we got it. So, this is a DSP's hospital visit story on what happened with his... His ex uh, girlfriend, ex fiance, Pandaly, and uh, it's it's a doozy. I don't know if you know much about P or DSP lore, but uh, it's it's worth it. Trust me on this. Yeah, I got it, Chad. I got it. I got it. We should be good. Uh, here we go. Okay, so I go to, I go to the hospital. And I walk in to the front main area because I don't know where to go. I don't know if they brought her to emergency. I don't know if she's been already, if she's going to be admitted to the hospital. I don't know what's going on, how serious this whole situation is. I have no idea, okay? Uh, Fly Eagles Fly. Shout out to Fly Eagles Fly who just did a, uh, or just, or just subscribed to the channel actually. Thank you, Fly Eagles Fly. I appreciate that. Um, so I walk into the hospital. There's an information desk. 
it's completely empty. There's no one sitting there. You could tell there's four chairs, no one there. I guess because it's Sunday, no one works at this hospital or whatever. So I'm looking around, I'm pacing back and forth. What do I do? Who do I talk to? Finally, I find a phone. It says, oh, lift this phone for information. Okay, I pick up the phone. Hello, is this the, who is this? Can you help me? You know, my girlfriend, I think she's in the hospital somewhere. And they're like, oh, okay, what's her name? I give her the name. And like, okay, she's still over in emergency. So go this way and go to emergency. Okay, would have been nice if, you know, there was a fucking human working instead of me having to find a random phone that was hidden in this hallway. I really wish people did this more often. Um, this is this is like a one-off. I don't think anybody's ever done another one of these. But it's so perfect. That little Phil Brunel, that little DSP, is just perfect. It's like a little egg crossbred with a thumb. But it has all his features, and you know it's him. <laughs> you can instantly look at this little thing and be like, yeah, that's that's DSP. So, okay. I get on, I, I go through this lobby, I go to the emergency, so again, I walk to emergency, now there's a line, and I'm like, well, these are people who are hurt, what do I do? So I get in line, but I'm looking around, I wait in line for like five minutes, and I realize to my left, way over here, on a tiny little sign, not even like a parent, a little, little sign, it says, visitor check-in, I'm like, wow, if only there was a big fucking sign, so everyone would know where to go when they walk into this hospital, instead of this little, tiny rinky-dink sign you can't even see from the front door, so if I get out of the line, I'm in, I go over there, talk to a security guy, you know, kick, makes a copy of my license, checks me in. He says, okay, she's down there. She's in room two, 28. I said, so what's the deal? He says, well, it says here, you know, she had a, another anxiety attack. Well, not another because they don't know that she's had them in the past. She says, she had an anxiety attack. Um, apparently, they, you know, she's drugged and she's in this room awaiting uh, a doctor to kind of... <laughs> I love how they make her look like, she's got like a fish face. She's got, she looks like she's had a stroke. It's just, it, it's perfect. It looks like this bitch got hit in the head with a fucking shovel and doesn't understand what planet she's on. <laughs> Everything about this fucking animation is perfect. To come, either come in or whatever. I guess a doctor coming to, coming in to, to check her out. Or, no, 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 actually, I take that back. He said, no, he did say that. He had told me there was a doctor that was checking her out or something like that. And I was like, okay. So... I go, I walk through, I go all the way to the to the back of the emergency area where they've got her in a room, and I go in, and she's conscious, but she's kind of loopy. You could tell they did something, they drugged her or something, because she wasn't, in no panic or nothing, you know, no anxiety or nothing. She was just like, oh, like loopy like this, right? Um, So, I, you know, obviously you say you're okay, you didn't fall, you didn't hit your head or nothing, right? No, just, you know, she, it happens, it sucks, because it happens every once in a while, and now... Uh, I, I should say going forward, too, as you watch this, just know that the story he's telling you right now, after these events happened, like a week after this took place, their relationship ended. She left him because of how he acted during this. Their five-year relationship came to a fucking dead halt because of how great he was in this situation. Now this is the worst one she's ever had, so maybe that she has to go see you know her doctor and, and try to get some kind of thing to take care of it. Because the, the, the bottom line is with anxiety attacks, they suck. The reason that they suck is... There's really no way to cure them, okay? Um, there's things you can do, like, for example, you could try a certain kind of breathing. Or um, if there's someone who's, like, constantly has mental issues and is having these problems, they could go on an antidepressant. But that's not the situation here. The situation is every once in a while she just gets one, and now it's like a tizzy. you got to try to calm her down, right? Um, now, in this case, they drugged her. So she got drugged. She, you know, she was woozy or whatever. So I sat there with her, and I, I'm not even kidding. We're sitting there waiting. Wait, I said, well, what are we waiting for? And she says, I guess they told me that there's going to be a counselor that's going to be coming in and talking to me about this and what happened and, or whatever to make sure I'm all right. And then, and, you know, I can't, I can't, we can't get any further help or diagnosis until this counselor comes in. Okay. All right. So we're sitting there, and I look down, and on her left, she's in, you know, she's on a hospital gurney or whatever, sitting there in the room. On her lap is a brochure. I said, what's this? I pick it up. Finance it. How to pay? Finance it. I'm like, you're in the emergency room. You're like, you're. They already gave you a way to pay the bill. I love that anything DSP related always comes down to money. Like, there's nothing this guy cannot turn into a money situation. Every other fucking time he's on a stream or does a video, there's some big emergency, which makes the title. It's all very fitting. It's my taxes are coming up. I'm going to lose my duplex. Uh, I have a back bill that's due. Uh, emergency 
super secret cast. If you guys don't give me $5,000 right now, I'm never going to be able to play video games for you ever again. And even with the story of his girlfriend going to the hospital for an anxiety attack, he finds a way to kind of finesse in there. Uh, 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 underlying financial issue. Get those donations later on. And I'm looking at it like, imagine if you were here and you had your arm chopped off and your arm is fucking splurting blood before they start suturing it. Do they hand you the payment brochure first just to be sure you could fucking pay? I couldn't believe it. I was like, if that was me and I was sitting in an emergency room, I'd be fucking offended that they would hand me this up front like that. Seriously, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here with this. I'm insulted that you hand me a payment fucking plan already. I mean, this is ridiculous. I couldn't believe it. Okay, I couldn't believe it. So, we wait there. How long? Now, let's see. How long did we wait? Let's see how people can take a guess. How long did we wait? Did we wait 10 minutes? No. Did we wait 20 minutes? No. Did we wait 30 minutes? No. Did we wait 40 minutes? No. Did we wait 50 minutes? No. Did we wait an hour? No. An hour goes by. No one's come in. No nurse. No no counselor. Nothing. We're just sitting there doing nothing. And we're like, well, what is this? Is Are, are, you, know, are, are you even aware of what's going on here? And, you know, at this point... She was starting to get hungry because now it's like around the time that we would normally eat or whatever. And we're like, God, this is no good. Now we're going to be, we'll be starving or we have to figure out what's going on. So I said, okay, let me leave and go find someone. So I leave the room and I walk down the hallway and there's like a desk at the end of this emergency room hallway. And I, you know, I talk, say to the girl there, oh, excuse me, you know, my, my girlfriend or, you know, is over a room. <laughs> Fucking a little twitch and YouTube icons in his thought train. You know, that's what this guy was thinking about. Just getting annoyed watching that clock, waiting for the fucking uh, doctor to come in to release her, because he's got to stream Dark Souls 2 or some shit, and this is getting in his fucking way for the evening. 28, and, you know, she just had she had a panic attack, they drugged her, and we need to know what's going on. We're wondering, is there a counselor coming or whatever, because we're in the dark, we're just standing here, we're not even sure what's going on. And the girl li literally looks at me like this and says, I don't know, and no one here knows anything. I was like, Wow! What great help, right? But she says, so, go back to the room and press the call button. Then a nurse will show up and the nurse will be able to tell you what's going on. Okay. I couldn't believe it. I'm, I'm making it up. She actually said that to me. No one here knows anything. Okay. This is great. I know you're loving this story. I'm oh, God, who did this? El Crimson King, please make another one of these. <laughs> please make more of these. He's got so many dumb fucking stories. Of retarded shit that he has done. And this is this is amazing. The little fucking egg Burnell. The little thumb Phil. Just just bitching about his daily life in this format is a hundred times more entertaining than actually seeing him. I'm loving the story. Okay. So then I go back to the room. I tell the analyst, you're gonna have to buzz to find out what the hell's going on here. So she buzzes and we wait. And we wait about five minutes. It wasn't too bad. Nurse comes in. Woman, she says, what's going, what's wrong? What's going on? And Leanna says, well, no, she's so groggy. So she can barely talk. She's like, oh, nothing. You know, I just want to know what's happening here. Is there, you know, Are we waiting for a counselor, a doctor, or whatever? And the woman looks at us with like a look of scorn, right? A look of scorn. She's like, okay. Somebody in chat said he made more and that he made a puppet. This guy made a Phil Burnell puppet. Oh, we're, we're going to pause this for one second. I have to see if that's true. Did this guy actually build a fucking DSP puppet? <laughs> he built a puppet! No fucking way! He built a fucking DSP puppet. <laughs> he built a DSP puppet and he uses it to replace Phil! <laughs> what? Wait, let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick look at the DSP puppet and we'll go back to the uh, ER story. Quit. The game sucks just like it did last year when I played it. Random spawns of how much drugs you can get. Random amount of money. Fuck this game. This game sucks. I'm not going to waste time on this fucking game when there's no way to win. I'd have to literally waste like 10 hours to get enough money to finish this game. This game is a piece of shit. Here. 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 Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is fucking amazing! He made a functional DSP puppet! <laughs> it looks like him too! 
What the fuck was that? Oh, did he put the masturbating scene in here? Please tell me he put the masturbating. He oh god, he's reenacting everything. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna play it like the kid. Yeah, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I got my hat on backwards. <laughs> that what I do is actually very demanding. You're also not realizing things like having to constantly not only monitor the videos uploading, but adding them to playlists, social media to keep everyone in the loop of what's going on and constantly tweeting and all that. All that's part of it, and it's something that I have to do constantly. So my job is very... That is fucking amazing. I can't believe he took the time to make a DSP puppet. That's pretty fucking great. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll get back to the, um, to the ER story. I'm sorry, Chad. I, just, I had to check that out. Somebody said they made, <laughs> made a puppet of DSP, and it actually did. All right, let's let's uh, let's continue. You've only been here like an hour and a half, and we have other patients. And I'm like, what kind of fucking place is this? <laughs> like, you're going to talk down to, the, to a patient who's been waiting an hour and a half, and no one's come in to tell her the status of what's going on. And she asks, and you get angry. And I'm like, what the hell? So I said, listen. I said, we're both hungry. She needs food. She hasn't eaten today. So the woman says, okay, I'll go get you some food. So she leaves. She comes back with a turkey sandwich. It's like turkey on, on rye bread with a piece of lettuce and a piece of cheese and like a packet of mustard and a couple saltines and a, and a, a apple juice and like a little... The apple juice looked like it was in like a yogurt cup. I've never even seen apple juice stored like that before. And a, a string cheese. Now, Leanna hates string cheese, and Leanna wasn't super hungry for, like, a sandwich, so she ate some saltines. Good, she got something in her, and she, there was water. Oh, okay, all right, hold on, chat. Uh, people are saying I missed the good part, which is at four minutes, and that he made a second puppet, a pig puppet of Phil? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's, uh, we'll line them up here. He's very time consuming. We'll line them up here and see if they've got the, uh... Here's... The bottom line I'm is not, I'm not seeing it. If you got a time code for the masturbation bit, a uh, fantastic. Uh, but all right, here's the uh, Phil Burnell pig puppet this guy made, I guess. Let's see what it looks like. He's half pig, half roach, and half man. Introducing. Pig Roach Man, Pig Roach Man, Pig Roach Man. <laughs> it's, it's pretty well done. <laughs> he updated it to be a pig roach. Fantastic. Uh, 420, is that what I'm looking for here? I'm not, I'm not seeing it on the timeline. All right, we'll, we'll take a look in a minute. We'll finish up the hospital story. Uh, but there you go. That was the pig roach puppet alongside the Phil puppet. And now back to the... God, this guy's like a, a little Da Vinci, isn't he? Just a renaissance man doing all sorts of shit. Puppets and animations. All things... All things DSP related. Further to give her water. She didn't want the apple juice. So we gave her the apple juice or whatever. All right. Um... So now we wait again. We're waiting and waiting. So anyway, oh, I forgot to tell you. Before the nurse left, she said, the counselor is coming. You just have to wait. You have to wait because there's other people here. I'm like, wow. Thanks. How long did we wait for the counselor? What do you think? Did we wait an hour and a half? Yeah, well, no, longer than that. We wait an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, maybe we had two hours. Yeah, no, longer than that. Almost two and a half fucking hours we sat there, okay, waiting for a counselor to come into the room. The counselor was an elderly woman. You could tell she's probably in her 60s, white woman. Comes in with two pieces of paper. Okay, she comes in. Hi, how you doing? Are you in pain? No, that's good. Uh, are you still you're still having anxiety? No, that's good. Okay. Uh, they gave you some drugs, right? Yeah, okay, that's why you're calm. That's why you're woozy. It's because you're on the drugs. So here's two pieces of paper explaining what anxiety attacks are. Have you ever had an anxiety attack before? And I'm like... 
so they admitted her. Well, they admit her. They bring her into the, the emergency room. They administered a drug. And no one even asked her when she was brought in anything at all. They had no basic information whatsoever about this thing. She'd been sitting there for two and a half hours. She might have been having a life-crippling anxiety attack where she's going to fucking, you know, lose her mind and be mentally lose her, lose her shit. And she comes in and asks, did you ever have an anxiety attack before? She's like, yes. Uh, are they usually like this? Well, you know, I have them, but this is the worst one I've ever had. Oh, well, do you have a doctor? Yeah. A primary care physician? Yeah. Well, we recommend that you go see your doctor then. I'm like, oh my God, are you fucking for real? I fucking love how the animation lines up perfectly like that. <laughs> it captures the essence of Phil just so well. Just so fucking well. Are you fucking for real? Okay. Then she says... So, you know, there are different ways that we can help with, uh, with stuff like this. Primarily, what, what it is, is we recommend you don't take any drugs at all. You just wait it out, okay? Now, obviously, just waiting it out doesn't work in the situation that Leanna was in to the point where they called the paramedics. The paramedics recommended drugging her. So this woman is obviously a fucking buffoon, okay? Somebody in chat saying, all jokes aside, what kind of hospital is this? Well, you have to remember, anything Phil tells you is always going to make himself the victim. And the person going through the most arduous shit. Like, <laughs> basically, uh, Leanna had some kind of an emergency. Uh, had to go to the hospital. Phil found out, I think, through her co-workers who were told that, yeah, an ambulance came, picked her up, brought her to the hospital. She's at the hospital right now. He took his sweet fucking time, like 20 minutes, finally got off his ass, went to the hospital. And they got very angry that he had to pay money for the ambulance and the hospital visit. <laughs> and all he did was bitch about it. And I'll sum the story up for you. Uh, the animation's great, by the way. But at the very end of it, he tells Leanna, um, <laughs> I think he tells the hospital, uh, don't don't bring her in. If she calls you, if she calls 911 and needs to come into the emergency room, tell her no. Don't, don't bring her in. And a week after that, she leaves him. Very, very kind-hearted. Very good, good boyfriend of the year material, really. Uh, there's another stream he did where he's like, she had the flu or she was really fucking sick. And he tells the viewers, hey guys, hold on a second. I have to go wake her up so she can cook me dinner. So, so he never really gave a shit. Always, always just an amazing thing. Always an amazing thing with Mr. Burnell. God, he's been around. He has been around for fucking ever. Just doing retarded shit on the daily. I, he's gonna be fifty years old doing. It. <laughs> he's gonna be fifty years old doing this sometime. Oh, I think is this. Uh, we'll just play the source video. Uh, this one's always good too. Uh, our our boy DSP, just you know, unwinding a little bit before a stream. <laughs> this is probably like a a Twitch streamer's nightmare. They forget that their camera is on them, and then DSP decides, you know what? I think my audience would really like it if I. If I crank one out, I think uh, I think all the uh, viewers would really like to watch me masturbate live on Twitch or <laughs> wherever the fuck he was at the time. So uh, <laughs> here's DSP just unwinding before that arduous Let's Play is coming up. Oh, I really hate you, but I cannot live without you if I try. I can imagine life without you, ice cream. Mm. Mm. You're so creamy, and I wish you know. I always wondered, what is he looking at? He's paying really close attention to something. Do you think he's watching the donation amount in his chat? <laughs> Do you think he got like 20 bits there? Like, oh god, look at the donations rolling in. Oh, guys, emergency. I've got a tax emergency. Donate to me now. Oh, God. Oh, I need that $1,000 donation. Come on. Come on. DSP needs to pay his taxes. Oh, come. Brightside Viking, where are you at? I need to buy. I need to pay my taxes. Oh, here we go.
Oh, we got a few seconds before. I love how he pops back on stream, too, after relieving himself. Yeah, look at that money amount just go up. He's got a little bit cup display on the screen, just watching the money drop into it. Oh, that's a big donation. Oh, that's a big donation. Thinking about that money. <laughs> Thinking about those donations. What is up, everyone? Hello, hello, and welcome. Oh, the camera's on. <laughs> oh, 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 the camera's on. Oh, all the people that were sitting on my stream just watched me masturbating for the last two minutes, vigorously touching myself in front of a live Twitch audience. Oh, that's... Uh-oh. That's... Uh, <laughs> it's at that moment he knew he fucked up. At that exact moment, Phil knew that he had fucked up. Oh, and he came through this. You know, most people, if they jacked off on a Twitch stream, that probably would be it. That's when he'd call it a day. They would never live it down. That would be the end of the Twitch career. Here we are, what, two years later? Phil's still trucking on. Nothing can stop this man. His girlfriend can leave him. His house could fucking burn down. Lightning could strike him five times on the head. And he would still be around to continue streaming. Nothing will ever stop him. I don't I don't know what kind of material he's made of. Sometimes I don't think he's actually human. I think he's human like and he just survives it somehow. It's it's really fucking remarkable. But our boy's married now. So chat I I, I don't know. Can you give him a uh, Can you give him a well, what what how do we want to give him a C for congratulations chat if you could <laughs> congratulate DSP on actually finding a woman that wouldn't flee his property. Sure, she may only speak Russian and is very confused about why her handlers left him with him. But give him a C for... Congratulate Phil on his happy future lifetime with his new wife. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. Way to really achieve the dream. You caught one. You caught one that you couldn't, you know, that couldn't get away. You've, you've done it, Phil. You've showed us all it's possible. Give him a C. He's earned it. Our boy's been through a lot of shit. Dealing with those fucking trolls, those detractors, those A-logs fucking water wells in Africa. All that bullshit. And he's come out smelling like roses. Nothing's gonna keep Phil down. He's got a good woman by his side. Velcro to his side. Ball and chain to it. Tape to it. There's an elastic cord that won't let her get away, but she's by his side nonetheless. And that deserves a C for congratulations. Or some people in chat gave him an F. Probably for her, not for him. Best of luck, honey. Enjoy your enjoy your life. I, yeah, I could really I could picture Phil as a fifty year old man playing video games on a Twitch stream and still making donations. You know, I was trying to calculate if he owes what seventeen thousand in taxes. I, I'm guessing. I, 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 how do you undo that to figure out exactly how much he's making? He must be making six figures a year, and it still baffles me. If he really is making like 100000 or more a year, how he's always in a state of debt. I know he's got that duplex back home, and he's got a house he's paying for, and for some reason, they, they rent their car, they lease it or whatever, rather than just buy a used car that's cheap. But for some reason, year after year, for that nine-year legacy of making that much fucking money, you know, one more year if he's been making hundred k a year, one more year and Phil's made a million dollars. Wrap your head around that. Phil Burnell... DSP, the guy that honks and snorts on his streams, <laughs> the dude that masturbated in front of a Twitch audience, has made a million dollars. <laughs> how does how does he do it? How does he do it? It's remarkable. Absolutely. Will he live stream his divorce? Somebody in chat said. I don't know. It's a possibility. <laughs> he might live stream his divorce for us. Oh my God, Phil. Phil, what are you doing? Uh, somebody in chat, he isn't in debt. He's just milking his pay pigs. He made $19,000 $19, in December of 2018 alone. God, if he's making nineteen k a month, then yeah, he's making way over $100,000. we are talking $200,000. Phil is a rich man with a Russian mail order bride. <laughs> Life is going good for our friend DSP. And he'll still be kicking... At 50 years old, you can't keep him down. He just keeps sprouting back up like a weed. A weed that snorts like a pig. Oh, I've got some 
Super Chats here. Let's read through some of these. Uh, Gemu Zero, Jim, did you hear DSP scammed his ears to get a maid, uh, his maid a wedding ring? Also, you're right. His Patreon dollary dues went down the shitter overtime. Yeah, but he doesn't really need his Patreon money. I mean, he's making a fuck ton of cash over at Twitch on... They have, like, I think Twitch, yeah, right? They have subs over there. He's got, like, what, 500, 600 subs? And then on top of that, the donations that come through, I'm guessing Streamlabs and Bits and all of that shit. So he's, he's probably making fucking 10 times whatever, 20 times whatever his uh, Patreon ever gave him. From CS, for all my fellow Bongs out there, vote for Sergen. Clown World, D's nuts. Mr. Skello, please end stream with Crispy Glover's Clowny Clown Clown. From fake name, gamers rise up, ooga booga. Cross face your waifu. Jim, how fugged is everything? And how are things are just keep, or how do things keep getting worse? Is it really worth living in the clown timeline? Well, I I admit things it's a it's a dark day in the clown time. You know, I made a video. It's not done yet, but I guess I could play it. Let me um just a little clip I was gonna put in as an opening when it was completely finished, but you know what, fuck it. Let's uh let's let's watch this bad boy now. Cause you brought up Clown World. So why not? Okay. I'm gonna have to start it a couple times. But I think this sums it up. The mentality you need to have in the modern era. The world is burning. Let's masturbate. People in the Houses of Parliament masturbate. People in Buckingham Palace, they masturbate. People at the United Nations, they masturbate. Watercolor artists, they masturbate. Lollipop ladies, lollipop men, masturbating. People living in substandard housing, not able to afford acrylic paint. They smash up bus shelters, and they also, especially some of the 17 year old boys, they masturbate. The world is burning. Let's masturbate. So there you go. Uh, you just gotta you gotta remember DSP's mentality. You just gotta crank one out. Just <laughs> just crank it out. That's how you survive the clown timeline. You just you just gotta masturbate. That's all you can do in clown world is just jack off until the sadness goes away. Welcome to the future. And yes, you can get Ebola in your eyes. That was that was a real fucking clip. Ebola in your eyeballs. How terrifying is that? Fungus that won't go away, Ebola in your eyeballs, and super gonorrhea. Welcome to the modern world. Honk honk, everybody. Can I get an? Can I get a honk honk in the chat for eyeball Ebola? <laughs> what a lovely day. What a lovely world. From Cron Gamer, yo, shout out to my main uh, man Donny. Also, check your Twitter for uh, Mop DTK Schmaltzy. I was finally able to catch you live. Your streamy morning shows really helped me through my boring commutes to and from college a few months ago. Loved watching Photon. Thanks for all the fun. Blowout soon, fellow stalker. From Maggie Ellis, one camel for you, one for me. Let's enjoy it. From Archonids, Jim, Google 20 signs you're a crunchy mama? I don't even know what the fuck that is, but we'll take a look. <laughs> is this going to get me put on like a fucking uh, watch list? What the fuck is this? 20 signs you're a crunchy mama. What the fuck does this even mean? Oh, it's just people eating granola? Uh, sorry, that was... I thought that was going to go one direction, and it looks like it's just people that really love granola bars, I guess? From Martin Smogger, Jimmy Jim making the happy Trump Nation... Seriously, ask Sword and Skill to talk about the Florida cannibal case. I told you he watches the show. Well, he did super chat earlier uh, wanting me to take a look at something and get a hold of him. Uh, so I will ask him about the Florida cannibal case. Moderator Marcy. Hey, Boomer Jim, just a reminder about your waifu Jade. I think she must have got out of her cage and is now peeing on my front lawn. Please come get her before I call animal control. <laughs> I will do that right away. From politically incorrect diversity with quite a few clown world flags. Luric L, since it's Saturday... Well, let's see what this one is. 
If you send me a link, I will try to check it out. If it's if it's decent, I'll take a look on stream. If it's crap, we'll just skip it. So let's uh, let's see what this one is. Okay. I it's a Donald Trump clip. Maybe another time. From Hanua, uh, Terry A. Davis, a living legend and icon of the mentally unstable. Lord of Vapor, I heard someone streamed Christchurch shooting on DLive and got banned. Uh, well, I did mention this before. DLive did update their terms of service. They amended it uh, after uh, Ralph and a few others went over to their stream. Uh, you know, Ralph brought in a pretty decent-sized audience. And, you know, things seemed to be going okay, but uh, certain streamers on the platform got upset, contacted the DLive staff, and then the DLive staff started making alterations to the terms of service to address, I guess, shit they wanted to talk about. And it wouldn't surprise me if uh, people got banned for for streaming that. Also, just given the fact that every website on the internet is freaking the fuck out over that particular video and live stream, probably makes sense they're going to be uh, hesitant to let you stream that for people. Uh, for Powerhouse Willington, uh, Jim has a girlfriend named Jade, prefers Katana, owned. Reality, Jimbo, can you say own the lib and the Jew voice? Uh, I've got to I've got to work my way into the as you put it Jew voice. Uh, <laughs> oh my asthma on the lib. Uh, hopefully that works for you. Uh, Trump Nation, look up Lino Networks proof of human engagement in decentralized networks. NPC Anon eighty eight has been investigating this. From possibly the NSA, a fam. Thanks for the stream. Just found out I don't have to report it to work uh, or report into work. We cool man. It's all good in the hood. Here's a contribution to SIGS. Uh, thank you. Frankie Oritz, uh, Oritz, Ortiz. God damn am I losing it today. Jim, did you watch Murdoch Murdoch's Yellow Dawn? Uh, yeah, I did. It was funny as shit. From uh, the Turkish Zoo, match me. Waxley Yarway, a woo. Uh, let me do that better. A woo. From C. Green, our Obi and Anthony mod tried banning uh, Fatrick Tomlinson post. Fug the Jannies. <laughs> is, he, is he gathering those IPs on people? From Simpering Envoy, our Envoy, identify as a Superberry. If you don't respect my pronouns, I will commit toaster bath. Now take my shekels, you NATO pigger, and a woo for me. Uh, a woo! From Nolton, yike on a bike. It's almost like all these companies may be talking to each other in order to get rid of competition. Don't think about it. Honk, honk. Uh, well, that is actually confirmed. Uh, maybe not in regards to DLive, but uh, I did a video, I'd say, about like eight, nine months back, uh, maybe even a little longer, talking about how Google and Twitter and Facebook had uh, employees that would talk with one another about ban lists and talk about uh, removing users they didn't like. Uh, they most definitely talk with each other. They most definitely powwow together to take care of people they don't like. Politically incorrect. Jar Jar was a good boy. He didn't do nothing. From Miss Meadow Kitty, Luke spent so much uh, <laughs> Luke spent so much time drinking alien walrus titty milk and reading his tree full of hentai. Yoda had to come back and burn it to the ground. The Zazen man. Good news and bad news, Jim. Good news. Learning about Warhammer, the lore is fucking great. Bad news, I think I've contracted furry. Went to a convention and it was great. Feel free to gas me potato daddy. From Jaker K017. Spaceballs is the fourth, fourth best Star Wars movie behind the original trilogy. Even the Christmas special is better than Disney's movies. Yeah, again, they didn't really resonate with me. Not super uh, thrilled to go see the new Star Wars stuff. Neil the Ugly Engine 02. Have you seen the, tra er, the trailer to the failed Christian Kickstarter doc? The creator was doxed on Kiwi Farms and canceled it. Watch it on stream. It's on YouTube. Uh, so somebody was making a Christian doc and apparently pulled the plug after they got found out. Uh, I'm not aware of any of that, actually. I haven't really paid attention to DSP or Chris Chan in a long time. Like, the DSP getting married thing was kind of fun to look back, but it's not really my bag anymore. Um, with Chris Chan, like, the dimensional merger shit, but I think that's like six months ago. From Constantine Commentary, Gorbachev had a birthmark. Yeltsin was a drunk. I always confuse the two. Uh, a name I cannot pronounce. Apparently, my sister says, you have a sexy voice. Sounds like your sister is right. From Goldie, you're wrong. It's not the last two that were shit. It's the last four. You got it, not Wakanda. Play the trailer for the meme porn, Meet the Banes. I think I've seen that before. <laughs> I think I know the one you're talking about, but I have a better choice. Uh, well, let me see if I can find it.
Yeah, who are you? The cook. The, <laughs> this is fucking fantastic. I'm not even going to. Well, okay. No, it doesn't say who he is. Chat, you tell me if you can guess who this actor is. Who they're trying to parody with this particular scene. If you want to talk about meme porn. <laughs> Who are you? I'm the cook. Uh, that's the best meme porn you're ever going to see. That is so... <laughs> that is so dead on Steven Seagal. You can't get more Steven Seagal than that. From Slashdot121, here's some cucked pennies. Seneca and Chief, there's a new Japanese-style RPG uh, game out making fun of Davis Arini. It's called FW3, a pretentious RPG. From Wumi, the ring's name is Fu... <laughs> Fo uh, Fooey paws? Say it, say it, you harlot. Fooey paws. I don't know how to say that. My brain is not functioning well today. Purple seven filth. Press X or er, press H to honk. Jesus. Schmaltzy. You should check out Anxiety War on YouTube. He catches pedos and pissed off his local police because he was doing a better job at it than they were. Really strange but cool guy. So there are these um like pedo expose shows that are really popular over in Europe, I think mostly in England. And there was one that I watched where they got the wrong guy. You know how they always say like, what are you going to do if you ever get the wrong guy? And that legitimately happened. So they set their stake out, right? And they're live streaming it and they're going to nail his ass and they've got flyers and they're going around the whole fucking neighborhood with his name and his picture and they're going to get him <laughs> and they finally get him and it's the wrong dude. They were trying to get his brother, but they accidentally came up with his identity. And it's them stalking him for like 20 minutes. I, I wish I could find a mirror of that because it's so uncomfortable to watch as they're screaming at him, calling him a pedophile, and it's the wrong fucking guy, the wrong name, the wrong image, the wrong everything. <laughs> the police show up, and he's like, these people are retarded, save me. Uh, from Helicopters R Us, does 13% equal 50? Of course. Joey Jojo. I really wish we could get a Fatal Frame HD collection, Haunting Ground Clock Tower HD collection. We need more love to waifu horror games. I would totally buy the fuck out of a Fatal Frame HD collection. Fantastic games. Uh, Haunting Ground's pretty, you know, decent too. Clock Tower's good. Uh, but a Fatal Frame, most definitely. From Zululu Clap, Soygon has been nominated as the UKIP candidate. Yep, we talked about it earlier. Terry Hestigles, that thing on the Star Wars guy's face is a symptom of Sturge Weber. People with that condition can't get hit in the head. They have soft heads. Please don't throw objects at his soft head. From Githrin Zabby, what's your take on the teaser for evil white male incel Joker rising up in theaters in October of 2019? I already gave my take on that. It strikes me as a art house film. You know, like a, it, it feels more psychological than it does a comic book. It doesn't feel like cape shit. Now, I don't know if that's going to translate into it being a good movie or not. Uh, but it reminds me, <laughs> there's some weird shit in there. I get like a Norman Bates feel off of it. You know, like the whole washing mom in the tub shit. And just other weird shit in that fucking trailer. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a good movie or not, but we'll see. We'll see how it uh, turns out. Crossface your waifu. Jim, can you please help me convince a chick I know that's becoming a little is a terrible idea. And that it's totally a sexual thing. So she's becoming a little? <laughs> well, yeah, no, it most definitely is a sexual thing. Does she want to, does she have brain damage? Why would she want to role play as a fucking eight-year-old? <laughs> what other reason could an adult have for wanting to be eight years old than some weird kinky shit? I don't know, show her a video of Ross and that uh, fake tears CNN girl. <laughs> show her the, you know, interactions between those two. I think sums it up. That chick tried to commit suicide by throwing herself out a basement window. I want you to imagine a fat girl that fakes tears and wants attention so badly she tries to huck her 300-pound ass out of a basement window and say it's a suicide attempt. <laughs> you, can't, you can't kill yourself throwing yourself out a basement fucking window. It's, <laughs> it makes no sense. 
From Deus 03, have you ever checked out George Yared, a.k.a. Gorgeous George? He tried to sue trolls for 10 years and lost his home over it. He's a great AN. Uh, no, I've not checked that out. From Adel in the Blue, no one should want to live a life where I am still excited for Star Wars after The Last Jedi happened. Thomas Kidd, he's going to cry because of the video dislike ratio. Mario Carter 13, tis a humble moisture farmer, tissues on standby. From Uzumaki King, originals, better than prequels, better than Spaceballs, better than new crap. Also, I got a date on that anime game talking stream, so I can prepare my body for your glorious potato heresy. Ah, okay, let's see. You're rating the prequels above Spaceballs? I don't know if I can go along with that. I, you know, I, I'd say original Spaceballs prequels new crap. Caleb Lambright, glad you're here, Jim. You Orville lover ninja, ter, er, ninja nerd. Seven Dwarfs, if you type in Forgiving Mr. Medicare into YouTube, you will find Ross has forgiven you. Much love. Have I been forgiven by Ross? I, I suppose we can take a look at that. I, I need to remind chat exactly who Ross is so they understand the, <laughs> the, the importance of this. Let me see if I can... Where did I put that fucking clip of this guy? I know I have it. Uh, one moment, chat. I, I, I know it's... Uh, maybe it's in extras. Yep, I think it is. All right, we'll, we'll go take a look. I, I'm being forgiven, apparently, by somebody who uh, dislikes me quite a bit. But let's take a look at who he is first. So, basically, I'm a... Uh, first of all, basically, I'm a... Uh, basically, I'm a... Uh, I'm a... Uh, I'm a... Uh, basically... And the mo first of all, basically, I'm, uh, I have to say is that I'm, uh, I don't know. First of all, I'm, uh, how come, like, I'm, uh, I, yeah, sorry, I'm with autism. I don't know how to use words that well, so I'm, uh, he's basically, um, uh, I'm, uh, basically, um, uh, version with rage, and he has the autism. He's with the autism. Uh, so we'll we'll see if this is worth anything. <laughs> Forgiving, Mister Mediker. Basically, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, basically. Hello, ladies and gents. So, essentially, I pretty much went ahead and, uh, contemplated that, uh, you know, I'm going to be forgiving, uh, Jim, or Medicare or Mr. Medicare whatever his name is, um, like, internet aristocrat, etc. Well, it's taken by Rat Boy now, but, um, anyways, like, Fucking, yeah, like, I kind of realized that he was kind of set up, but the thing is, is that... I was, I was set up. I've been bamboozled. This gentleman watching children in bathtubs, it was all an op. A 24-hour op by the fat girl that tried to kill herself by throwing herself on a basement window. When people out there are setting him up, riling Medgar up, manipulating him... I mean, hell, this is the reason why, um, fucking Jim did the whole nine yards with exposing King of Pole for being gay. <laughs> King of Pole, not gay. Oh, we're learning a lot today, guys. I've been set up Ross is innocent. Also, King of Pole is completely heterosexual. It's all been a massive op. Ross is uncovering it all. He didn't do that for no reason. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being gay, but... I mean, there's he didn't do that for no reason. And plus, King of Pole was kind of homophobic anyways himself. So, forcing him out of the closet in front of the world was decent payback to essentially let King of Pole know that he sees through what he's doing and... He's, and he sees that, you know. And Holy shit, this guy takes an hour to say something. All right, well, we get the we get the gist of it. King of Pole bamboozled us all. Ross is an innocent boy. It was all set up by by that dastardly King of Pole. And Ross is forgi- I am forgiven. I no longer have to live in fear of the red dead bandito super hacking me. I can walk down the street with my head held high. No super hacking coming this way. You've been you've been outed, Pole, in more than one way. Ross is on to you. 
He knows you set it up. You bamboozled me. You've manipulated me. Ross is a good boy. He didn't, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, do nothing. Good to know. <laughs> good to know. Okay. Uh, from Pro Truth, uh, Pro Truth Anti Media. Alita is red pilled. Zalem is a pylon of Jerusalem, or pleon of Jerusalem, and Alita is descended from a space Nazi division called the Neo Third Reich Division. I'm dead serious. That's actually a canon thing in the manga, or uh, ma uh, manga. I've not seen the movie. I know a lot of people have. People ask me to go watch it. I'm not really a movie guy. I don't really go to the theater to watch shit. Um, I'm mostly lazy. I, I don't even have TV. You know what I watch stuff on? I watch uh, Hulu, and I watch Netflix. That that's kind of my thing. I mean, I can spend less on those two, and basically see pretty much the majority of shit I want to see, rather than having a, a cable subscription and going to the theaters. I mean, I can wait. There's not a lot of stuff that gets me to go to the theaters. From Jay Caesar, Eric, be like, my load is rising, overflowing. Son of Tiamat, Luke Soywalker is my name for this guy. From Sora Pelosi, holy mother of soy. Rhino four five six three, the face made in a glory hole. <laughs> Alan Fritz or uh, Fritzgerald, why in God's name could this guy not put a bandage on that leech hickey? From Uzi, oh Bill, oh Bill, oh Bill. Mark C, the Star Wars reaction video will become the next Hitler downfall movie video meme. From Disparate Desperado, if I ever take any hobby as seriously as this dude, please violently sunset me. From Zach Moore, art contest where we edit over the trailer when? I'm probably not going to do another contest. At least not for a while. I, I think just for my own amusement, though, I will edit that video because uh, it's begging for it. Alex Blackfoot. Hey, Jimbo. It's my friend Holly's birthday. Can you call her a neeg Rita for me? You want me to call your friend Holly a nigger? <laughs> well, I guess. Uh, happy birthday, Holly. From Trump Army of Kentucky. Let's start a D-Live migrant crisis. Everybody there use African names, blackface, and have our pictures taken in the life fest with red Santa Claus caps on. Conrad Sutherland. Ook me harder, Daddy Jim. Miss Meadow Kitty, Star Wars reaction guy, is what we call a bugman. They consume everything that their hive mind tells them to until it is com or ultimately, or completely destroyed and move on to the next consumer product, Rick and Morty, Star Wars, Marvel, etc. The Bone Zone. Replace it with Kramer at the Laugh Factory. Yeah, there's a clip. <laughs> there's a clip. God, how long ago was that? That's like four or five years back now. Kim Jong-un. Replace it with Two Girls, One Cup. Mechazard post or put Christchurch footage over the Star Wars video. From school, Jim, this guy's with the silicone testicles. That's the footage to go with. That actually is an excellent choice. From Sir Boyne Vo or Bo Bone Voyage, fat feminine soy boy SW fan should kill himself. Joey C, do you think Eric's father is proud? Oh, I'm sure he watches that video with a, a, a very proud look on his face. The Betchloff. Make a video of Eric Butt reacting to a black vid. A uh, blacked vid. I, I probably will. I'm probably going to do a lot of variations on this particular video. From the Big Lebowski. Or the Big Lebowski. -y. Get some raid and end this bugman. Obi Jin Kenobi. Or Obi GYN Kenobi. Replace video with two girls, one cup. That's a popular choice that keeps popping up. Punish Steve. I want to see this guy react to the 2016 presidential election. From Solomon Grunty. Place the trailer with ISIS beheading videos. The DJD Show. Comedy Gold. Good job, Jim. Blame War Campaign. Jay Caesar replaced the trailer with Schindler's List. <laughs> this guy's going to get so much shit. From John Doe at the end when he says, The Emperor, have a shot of Trump winning. From Common Pikachu. This goddamn beta nerd nonsense is a result of not exposing people to actually great works of fiction. Fuck this corporate nonsense. Yang Gang 2020. Uh, well, yeah, I wouldn't disagree with that. Uh, <laughs> he's very tuned into Star Wars. From Pendergast21, howdy, Jim. I got diagnosed with cataplexy. Good news is I only lose motor control when I laugh. Bad news is we live in clown world. Now, that is, you just remember what the video said. Uh, just masturbate is the best way to deal with clown world. From Jin Jam, okay, Star Trek friends, just one. They're more badass. From Schooled. My message must have gotten deleted or I'm blind. Replace the footage with the guys who had inflated basketballs full of silicone. 
From Finchy Bird, Glimmer Niggers, Get the News, Shimmer Friends, Rise Up. From Joshua Ryan, thanks Jim, I've been a long time Star Wars fan. But the ooking soy boy was the actualization I needed to realize my manhood was at stake. From official Dakota, soy, war <laughs> soy wars, white knights of the Jewish plot. People coming out with a lot of subtitles for this particular video. Jackknife Barka, uh, thanks for making mandatory overtime better. Uh, glad to help. Lennon McCarthy, tiny death star on his face. From Terge Samuelson, thanks for ending that reaction video nauseating. From Bernard Bernard, uh, where are we? Uh, have you ever heard of a fanime called Blood Raining Night? By far my fa uh, favorite fanime ever. I've never heard of that before. Sean Turner, stop lying, Jim. You know you cried when you saw Halo 3's Believe trailer. Also, what are your thoughts on Nintendo Labo VR? They said it's hard to find. Yeah, I watched a few people do reviews on it because I was curious. Um, and the weird thing is a lot of people were saying they went to like Best Buy, Walmarts, Targets, and they were out. Like one guy had to go to like six stores before he finally found one. Now, whether that's they're stocking less because they don't want to get burned again or because it's really popular, I couldn't tell you. But uh, most people, you, you know what resolution you're going to get with a, uh, a switch in handheld mode. It's like 720p. That's the best you're going to get. So there's a lot of screen dooring. Uh, but for what it is, people say it's pretty decent. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm looking forward to the Valve Index, but you've already got PSVR, you've got uh, Oculus Rift, you've got the uh, the Vive, the Vive, whatever. Um, there's a lot of choices out on the market, but I guess with the Labo VR, it's, what, 80 bucks. So if you already own a Switch, it's the cheapest VR you could get, aside from, like, the cardboard ones Google and Samsung put into stores. You know, that $2 uh, fucking cardboard bullshit. <laughs> that you put your smartphone in uh, to do VR with. Uh, Roger Smith, I spazzed out like him when I met my hero, Adolf H. Mr. Zeki Blowenstein, remember the Nordic countries to support the Nordic resistance movement. Praise victory. Oh, here we are. Uh, Mr. Rivik, Tim Pool trademark lawsuit versus bestiality hentai artist Studio Fow. He's mad they made their subverse ten times more popular in one day. <laughs> fucking what? Tim Pool trademark lawsuit versus a bestiality hentai artist? I'll have to look into that one. From Raw Dogs, Jim's Reddit account is over five years old with a verified email. Really makes you think. From Cecil McFly, what are you wearing? Uh, clothing. For God, press H to honk. Melvin the Weed Wizard, hey boss, what's your favorite DMC5 character to play? Mine's the disabled emo kid. That's like autopilot. You can play as V and basically not do anything and still win. Like, V is autopilot in that game. It's really hard to fuck that up. Um, so, not my favorite one. I mean, Nero's pretty good, but I don't like the fact that you can't choose the gauntlet you're wearing. Um, I guess they did that to balance it because you could really abuse the shit out of it. I I'm going to go with Dante, I, I guess. Uh, sacrilegious, it's Maddox Jr., and Dirkman96, have you ever seen this schizo's blog? It's called HockeySweater.com. I've never, I've never heard of that website before. All right. Sorry, uh, let's see. I'm just trying to get caught up on Super Chats. I'm winding up the stream a little bit here. I want to make sure I get on. Uh, everybody's here. <clears throat> From Arthur Tintagel, thoughts on Sekiro? I, I've already said I, I like it. I'm not good at it, but I like it. I can, you know, this is like the weird thing I've noticed with a lot of people. They'll play a game, right? And just because they're not very good at the game, suddenly it's a bad game. I take the opposite approach. Like, I can recognize I'm shit at something and still appreciate it as being good. I, I think it's a good game. I think if you put the effort in and get the combat down, you're going to be fine. Uh, but for some reason, my retarded brain can't handle the rock, paper, scissors mechanic of dodge, jump, or deflect. And I just look like a spaz hitting buttons. Like I'm trying to play a QTE sequence without actually seeing what the QTE is. Uh, but it, it's good. I, I like that Vena game. I mean, I, I like Demon Souls. I like Dark Souls 1 through 3. I like Bloodborne. And I like Nioh. So it's just another one to kind of add into that camp. From Jean Arc, think messages, uh, think message was deleted, but check out Bikey Bikey Boys, a stupid song similar to the Petrol Sniffing song. Oh, well, you know, that might give me a second to rest my voice and grab another drink, so let, let's take a listen to this. Uh, one moment, chat. Bikey, bikey, boys? I've never heard of it. 
it's another video from these people? Really? I, I don't know if this is any good or not, guys. So we'll, we'll see how it is. We are the bike, bike boys. We are the bike, bike boys. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, the bike, the bike, you boys. Uh, just so you know, it's a bunch of abos, uh, abos <laughs> singing this song. It's another. It really is like the um, the Rama Rama song. It's the same group. Um, I'm gonna let that play. I'll let that play for a second while I grab a drink. I'll take a three minute break. I'll come back. I'll read the rest of the super chats. We'll wrap up the stream. I don't know how bad this song is. I'm gonna guess it's uh, it's not fantastic. So uh, let's let that play. Uh, be right back. We at the bike, the bike, the boys. We ride every day, faster, faster. We ride every day, faster, faster. BMX, bike, bike, you boy. Every day and night we ride around town. Every day and night we ride around town. We are the bike, the bike, you boys. We are the bike, the bike. Every day because we free. BMX, bike, bike, you boy. BMX, bike, bike, you boy. Every day and night we ride around. Old cars spill oil in the ground. So we can do tricks and slide around. No nuts, we call nuts with that. Watch out for glass or your tire goes flat. My chain got blue. Sit back on, ready now to try the next trip. We are the bike, the bike, the boys. We ride every day, faster, faster. BMX bike. You know what? It just occurred to me that you probably are going to want to see this to really appreciate its full uh, complexity. Uh, chat, if you want to. I'm going to show you the bikey bikey boys uh, while I just uh, enjoy my cigarette. Nothing's better on your throat when you've talked and made it feel a little bit a little bit raw than having a cigarette. Always a nice, cool camel cigarette to help help that sore throat go right away. So let me put on the bikey bikey boys so <laughs> you can appreciate the song. Nope, oh, nope, wrong one there. Uh, there we go. There's the Bikey Bikey Boys. Enjoy, chap. Bikey Boys, every day and night we ride around town. We are the Bikey Bikey Boys. We ride every day because we free. BMX Bikey Bikey Boys, every day and night we ride around here. Family bicycle from Lake. My bike is a bird, I fly around town Looking for food, crawling on the ground Watch out, because it might be you There's no telling what my bike bird will do My BMX is a go and a go and a go and a go and around ya We are big, we are strong in fact We got big claws and jaws that snap My bike is a kangaroo In a world be known as Marlo I bounce over land like no other do I'm a hip hop all the way to Uluru Faster. I'm blacking like my foot three toes. It's me, my bike, and the dead road. We are the bikey bikey boys. We ride every day. Faster, faster. Bikey bikey boys. Bikey boys. We ride every day because we. You know, I gotta say, I gotta be honest with you here. Uh, Australia can't compete with India when it comes to uh, musical numbers. <laughs> uh, I think that should pull it up. <laughs> India has the better videos. Uh, let me let me show you one of India's uh, hot hot hits that's out there. <laughs> This is courtesy of fucking UNICEF. All right, the problem in India is so bad they needed to get an international charity organization to teach them how to take a shit. First thing in the morning, what do I see? A pile of shit, 
staring at me. I close my eyes, I step away. No matter where I go, there's no getting away. I step out on the street, what do I smell? Shit that's stinking to high hell. I hold my breath, I step away. But everywhere I go, there's no getting away. Just amazing. Imagine the absolute state of this nation that they need to make a PSA video about taking a crap in the toilet. <laughs> There's, I remember one old news clipping, I don't even know if it was faked or not, where some remote Indian village was given a toilet, like a, a public toilet, to help train them, and they made a shrine to it. They made a shrine to the toilet, and they worshipped it. <laughs> I wish I could find that. It's the funniest shit. Oh, and I think, doesn't India have an actual shit satellite, a scatsat, <laughs> that monitors fecal matter from outer space? Oh, man. Uh, from the Crow 751, heard someone had cataplexy. Glad I'm not the only one. From Kiss Me Baby. Uh, Nijor. From Melvin the Weed Wizard. Hey, Jim, have you played Vampire the Masquerade? If so, are you looking forward to the sequel coming out? Apparently, you can give your vampire pronouns. Uh, yes, I have played the original. I really, really, really fucking enjoyed it. Uh, tentative is how I feel about the Upcoming sequel, uh, apparently blood is now flavored with the personality type of the victim. So if you've got somebody that's a pussy, uh, I guess you inherit cowardice. If you got like an alpha chad that's slamming pussy left and right, uh, I guess you become an alpha chad. I, I don't know how it's going to work, but it's flavored blood. It's a new mechanic in the game. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, uh, PC shit that's been infused into it. We'll see how bad it is when the uh, game actually drops. From... Bilbo uh, Bogans, have you seen JoJo? It's unironically great, and I'm not even an anime faggot. Uh, yes, I have watched some. I've not seen the most recent stuff, but it is good. Retro Smith, hey Jim, you hear about Umbrella Guy getting harassed by SJWs on Twitter and Remphemus contacting Child Protective Services on him? Uh, no, I have not. From Al Dan, will you let King of Pull sleep with you for $500,000? Uh, no, I would not. Miss Meadow Kitty, Jim, do me a favor and call my sister Dakota a cunt. Uh, Dakota, you are a cunt. From RPG or 90? No, Jim. We're your groomers. Simpering Envoy. Sometimes I like to fill my bathtub with scalding hot water and lower myself into it really fast. Then scream until the burning stops. Is that normal? Uh, perfectly normal. Short poem. Check out Jarbo the Hutt's new video. From Kiss Me Baby. Shut it down, Niger. Just another YouTuber. Doesn't this just warm your belly? Cheddar Cheese. Thank you, Ross. Very cool. Uh, just another YouTuber again. Doesn't this just warm your belly? Came through twice for some reason. From Bexfire, Jim and the Sweetie Squad, please consider giving a buck or two to Cyan's latest Kickstarter for Firmament. From the prompts to edit my message. I'm guessing a link is a no-no. Yeah, for some reason, YouTube... I don't know how this works, but I can put links up, and I think if it's a YouTube video link, it can go up. But if it's a link outside of the website, they don't let you do it for some reason. They used to. They used to not give a shit. In fact, back in the days when like annotations were brand new, you could link to outside the website. Now it's got to be like a verified specific site, or, like a, a merchandising site or you know a big social media one like Facebook. From Uzumaki King, here are extra shekels for saying my name right. And I probably butchered it saying that. From Sia's, second best search for best porn plot twist ever. From Seru, please do Christian's ghost hunting video full of gems. The Bone Zone, ever heard of Davis or David Tranny? Look at his Ed article. We'll check it out sometime. Mike's Contest, I got banned from Philly D's channel, so can you pass this message along to him? Keep your finger out of my balloon knot. Philly D. From Ninja Breadman, hey woo, a woo. Where is Little Washu? Ginger Cat Production, shout out to Rick in Oregon who turned me on to your stream. Keep being awesome and definitely look into the sword and scale downfall and cancellation. From Jackass, search YouTube for 
Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad. It is the most dis <laughs> the most disgusting cooking video ever created. Uh, well, you know what? Let's let's take a quick look. Let's see what we got here. I'm trying to wrap it up a bit and make sure I get to uh, the super chats, but I'm always up for something that's fucking uh, horrendous. I don't know who this you is. Know what? Uh, so this could be shit. It might be good. We'll find out, chat. Uh, let's take a look at some old woman cooking something disgusting on the oven. Do you know what time it is? It's time for Aunt Murder's Recipes. It's a double header. Oh, wait, I, I know who this guy is. They always made fun of him on the CK board because uh, he would eat raw chicken. Like, this dumb motherfucker, <laughs> he made chicken. And then he's like, yeah, that red stuff, that's okay to eat. If it bleeds a little bit, that's fine. Just eat it. Mmm, salmonella is delicious. I've just never seen this particular video. So let's see what that's he's right. making. Last week we did Aunt Myrna's recipe with the coleslaw. Amazing. This week we're doing party cheese salad. When I saw her make this in Alabama, I was like, Goosh. I'm not sure about some of these ingredients, but then I tasted it and it's like a dessert. Uh, it's really cool. So let's get this thing started. We're gonna cook all this on the stove, then we're gonna pour it in this glass dish, which I've never used in my whole life. I think my mom gave me this, but I'm gonna have a chance to use this and then we're gonna chill it. So it's gonna be awesome. Let's get started right now. You know, I'm already apprehensive when I, I see the title of cheese salad and then the component ingredients involve fucking pineapples, pecans, and Cool Whip. This sound, this, just, this is wrong on a lot of levels. Cheese salad, pineapples, pecans, Cool Whip. I don't know what kind of taste and texture that's going to give you. Wait till you see this. I never would have put these ingredients together had it not been for Aunt Myrna. You got cream cheese, pimentos, Cool Whip, crushed nuts, any kind that you like. I'm using pecans. Lemon, or you can use lime jello, celery, bell pepper, pineapple, and American cheese. Can you believe this? This is crazy. Let's go to the stove right now and get this thing started. Take your crushed pineapples and pour it in the pan. All right, get your... Uh, Get your Jello mix. You're gonna do one large Jello. <laughs> Fucking Jello mix, really? Okay, I, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Oh, this is already looking awful. Cream cheese pretty much oh, melted God. down. You can still see the chunks of pineapple in there. Chopped uh, celery. Mix that in. This looks like what ends up in your toilet after a night out drinking. Like, he's cooking something that actually is the end result of a very violent episode of vomiting. <laughs> this is not something you want to eat on a Sunday afternoon with your family. If somebody cooked this for me, Jello mix, cream cheese, fucking pineapples, and American cheese over a hot flame. It's already making me feel queasy. I can't even begin to explain to you how amazing tasting this was. It looks horrible, but I'm telling you, Aunt Myrna never has failed me yet. If you ever considered the fact maybe Aunt Myrna is an alcoholic, <laughs> maybe maybe Aunt Myrna has a secret whiskey bottle, and that's why she makes shit like this, because she's so drunk she doesn't realize these don't go together. Like, do you not have memories as a child at Aunt Myrna's house, where maybe she started hitting you with something? screaming at the top of her lungs all red-faced because she just got done with a bottle of gin and then afterwards made this? <laughs> Maybe not take cooking advice from a, a violent alcoholic who <laughs> told you that Jello cream cheese, Cool Whip, and uh, pineapples over a hot flame is fucking delicious? And I have had this. So I hope mine turns out as good as hers. Have as good as hers. I'll be in business. Okay, I've turned the flame off. I'm just mixing it in now. So go ahead and turn your flame off. There we go. Get it all mixed in. All right, here's a crucial ingredient. Your whipped cream. Just put the whole fucking tub in there. 
All right, we're not going to live past 40. Fuck it. Whole tub of Cool Whip right on top of the hot flame. Nothing's more delicious than rancid cheese, pineapples, jello mix, cream cheese, bell peppers, and a fucking tub of Cool Whip. Let's get that out there. Gonna mix that in gently. Don't wanna spill over. This is a point in the cooking process where you drop your pants and defecate right in the pot. Aunt Myrna's recipe calls for at least two logs floating over a simmering heat for at least 20 minutes. Really gives it that mmm factor. Gotta spice it up. Bam, as Emerald would say. Really good stuff. Adds texture, nice chewy quality, gets a coloration in there that you want, mixes well with the cheese. Aunt Myrna says, have tacos the night before to prepare. And I don't recommend using, uh, it's the uh, Cool Whip. I don't recommend using imitation or fat-free or sugar-free because they... <laughs> don't use the generic Cool Whip. Got to be the brand name. Won't have that special flavor without it. Gotcha. They have a different reaction. This, you want the regular, real Cool Whip or real whipped cream. You don't have Cool Whip. This is like watching a kid cook. I don't know if any of you have ever been around like a really little kid, like five or six years old, who doesn't understand how food is made, and they get access to a kitchen, like they've got full access to the pantry and to the refrigerator, and then they bring you some abomination that they've concocted just because they think it should be good, and nobody would ever eat it because it's not edible. That's this man. This man is that little kid, grown up, but never got past that point of making horrible tasting shit. That's him to a T. Just use real whipped cream. Creamiest you can find. Thickest you can find. Now I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm going to get my glass dish here. Then you're going to pour it in the, in the dish carefully. It looks like dog vomit. This looks like what your dog yaks up on the carpet after it ran outside on a hot day. <laughs> Who's going to eat this? Look at this shit. What consistency does this have? I'm almost tempted to make it myself just to see how bad it would be. I can't, I can't imagine the texture. It looks like fucking vomit. Cool Whip and cream cheese and butter and pineapples and bell peppers. Fucking heated up over a stove. I don't even, I can't imagine what that tastes like. Kind of mix it around so the pineapple is all throughout the, uh, just make sure all your ingredients are all throughout the dish, okay? Look at it, it's like a fucking soup. There's so much fucking liquid in that. From the fucking uh, Cool Whip and the pineapple juice, it's like a fucking broth. It's a broth, <laughs> a fucking horrible broth, and he's going to freeze it. Take your spoon gently through. You can smell, wow, the lemon and the pineapple are just busting out. And crazy enough, the last step, you're going to sprinkle on some cheese on top. Use American cheese. I wouldn't use a cheddar or a sharp because it's not going to have the same flavor effect. Now I'm going to chill this overnight, and then we're going to take a look at it in the morning. It's going to be solid. It's going to be cold. Now for the best flavor with this particular Aunt Myrna dish, you're going to leave it sitting in the garage for at least two, two and a half weeks on a hot summer really want it to ferment, really want to get that rancid smell going. When it smells so bad that you need to put a clothespin over your nose, that's how you know it's done. That's Aunt Myrna's way of telling you that you've made the perfect Aunt Myrna's cheese salad. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be delicious. Okay, well, I realized I didn't have to wait overnight, and the family wants to try this out, so we've only been chilling this for about four hours. What did you when he says the family wants to try it out, does he mean the people he's holding hostage in the basement? Who the fuck would want to line up to eat this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You can tell it's completely solid and cold, and it looks beautiful. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Look how awesome that looks. All right, so let's, uh, let's serve up a little section here and try it out.
and you just cut it almost like a dessert and you just scoop it out. Look at, can you see it? Can you see that? It's beautiful. Place it on a plate. Come on. Fuck, it won't even leave the spatula. <laughs> it's like a Spider-Man of cheese salads. It's, it's attached, it's fused to the plastic. His non-stick fucking spatula, it won't slide off. I can't even imagine what that's going to do to your stomach and your intestines. This is like spackle. If you eat this, your ass is going to be sealed for the next 10 years. You're going to need a construction crew with a fucking drill to open your asshole up to get this out of you. There we go. It almost has like a pudding effect. We're going to give that a try. Look at how beautiful that looks. Mmm. Wow. So good. I know it. Of course, I don't know if mine came out as good. So here's to delicious tasting. Fuck, you can hear the crunching. Can you hear that? You can hear the crunching. What is crunching in this? It sounds like fucking salary. What the fuck is crunching in this? Mmm. It blows my mind. <laughs> it's gonna blow your asshole out after you eat this, you stupid motherfucker. Oh, it blows your mind, does it? You know what else is gonna blow people's minds? You're gonna blow the doctor's mind. As he does a CAT scan to figure out why your stomach is solid like concrete and distended by 20 pounds. And it's so sweet and dessert-like. And has all those vegetables in it. <laughs> and American cheese on top. It is really... I can't explain this to you guys. It's sweet and it's crunchy and it's got a... Oh, that's right. Yeah, people in chat, the pecans. I forgot he put nuts in it too, of course. Nothing like nuts in this fucking abomination to really top it off. Custard feel to it on your tongue. It's beautiful. All right, I'm going to chow on this, give some to the family. You guys have a good one and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Do we ever see his family? I've never watched enough of this guy to know. I have a feeling it's just people crying, tied to chairs, forced to eat this shit. Okay, first thing we're going to do, a medium sand, uh, blah, 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 take two. All right, I'm going to chow on this, give some to the family. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. That was an act of God. Your light blew out because God himself is calling down from heaven on high to say stop. I designed human beings to eat edible things. Stop. This is an abomination. You've offended my natural creation with your Aunt Myrna's cheese salad. These, these ingredients were never meant to mix. I'm the only one that can make a platypus, motherfucker. You don't get the right to do that. Dance for me, monkey. Put the food down. Order a pizza. Get yourself a hamburger. Please, in the love, for the love of me, stop. Oof, God, that is awful. That is fucking awful. I don't, I don't, I don't know why he, oh. I'm just, yeah, the thought of the taste and the texture is really fucking with my head. From Your Mom's Box, Brianna Wu's official campaign pick on Twitter is really something special. Also, Chris Chan just did a ghost hunting vid. I, I think I've seen it, actually, the Chris Chan ghost hunting. <laughs> uh, I'm hopefully, uh, uh, Christine decides to do more from skeleton you might like reading about some hilarious moments in warfare taping rebellion bugman claims he is christ's brother and 30 million die and the football war you can find info on wikipedia a woo from bow wow look up shrimp corn potatoes and bee love sauce on youtube and try not to puke uh you know i i don't know if i want to do this i'll be honest with you but uh why not we'll take a look <laughs> you know, this. hey, hey, watching disgusting shit, it's a great way. Oh, okay, let's see what this is. Shrimp, corn, potatoes, bee love sauce. I think this is the video he's talking Hello. about. Oh my God, that's loud. Welcome back to another video with your girl Q. How are my cutie Qs doing today? Mm -hmm. I miss you so much. If this is your first time visiting the channel. How does this have 2.3 million views?
All right, what is this just a chick eating a fucking massive amount of food? That can't be all this is. It's just her shoveling shit down her fucking throat. Does she there's no way she eats all of this. Does she eat all of this? <laughs> what kind of society have we become? What the fuck happened to the human race where 2.3 million people are watching some chick gain 30 pounds in weight, eating a fucking... Look at that. How do you even get that plate ready? You need a bulldozer. Fucking crane to lift that shit up. Do you, do you think... This is why people hate Americans, by the way. How many third world countries do you think stumble on a YouTube video like this and just fucking scream? Just scream at God. Really? This bitch is eating 40 fucking pounds of uh, sausage, potatoes, shrimp, and corn? And I have to eat dirt? I'm drinking fucking mud water while this bitch is eating this shit. She's not even going to eat it all. Look, she's done. She's going to throw that shit out. She's going to take a picture of it, put it on Instagram, and uh, just put an LOL next to it. At Ethiopia, LOL. Lol. Didn't even eat it all. Didn't even care. Fuck you. Love America. <laughs> With kind regards, America. Go fuck yourself. You see all this food? I don't even want to eat it. I just bought it for fun. Fuck you. 2.4 million views. Okay. From Al Dan, or from Al Dan, does Sargon ha uh, love you subconsciously? Uh, potentially. From the Geo uh, 2003, we ever do Collins again. Listening to you banter with your audience is some good stuff. Uh, yep, during the election cycle, I will. Uh, I like the election cycle just for the presidential race because it's entertaining. Probably do some call-in ones with that. See what people think of their candidates. And uh, have a few laughs. Ninja Breadman, is DSP the shock master of gaming? Uh, it's one way to look at it. From SB Brown, watching, listening to your stream, give a Mussolini. He got the trains to run on time, Ramble, for my Italian grandpa. He's not doing too well. Uh, well, I hope your grandfather feels better. From Manned Hand R1488, can I get a Bing Bing Wahoo Honk Honk? Uh, well, there you go. From Sulcro, check out Shane St. John. I'll, ch I'll take a look when I get a chance. Benjamin Abrams, uh, Rip, Terry Davis, and Boogie. Monday Matt sucks. Inquisitor BC, if you are about to be jumped, use the Henry Zabrowski method. Just start masturbating? From Merlot Williams. Hype as fuck for Mortal Kombat 11. Who are you maining? 1v1 me, you scrub. Like I said, I've got a stable. I've got, I got my selection down, my trinity, uh, right now, which is, I think, going to be uh, Noob, Cybot, Scarlet, and Katana. That might change. Uh, you know, Frost still has to be revealed. I'm fairly certain the leak was accurate, so maybe Frost is awesome. And they said the base roster has 25 slots. We've seen 23. I'm not counting Shao Kahn. I think he is uh, considered DLC. So that means there's a mystery character. At least I got my fingers crossed. Who that mystery character is, Ermac, I don't know. Rain. Hopefully it's somebody cool. Uh, extremely happy Slimer. Or Simmer, sorry. Heard of vote.co, free speech allowed there. Uh, yep, I am aware of it. Uh, it's been around for four or five years now, hasn't it? From Jono Charles Davy, I thought the Minecraft trailer uh, bit in your Pokemon video was hilarious. I'm glad you liked it. Umbrella Corp Security Jim, how about Corpse Midget YouTube, the LH Show channel? I'm not, sh I don't think I've heard of that one either. From Hands Handsome. Hey, fuck you, big boy. Tech9 Technician, 1, 2, 3. Uh, you like Rama Rama? Watch Cargo Cult. It's a three-minute clip on YouTube about aboriginals that we was cargo planes. I will save that for the opening of the next stream. From Adoker, not sure if it's my first, or not sure if my first super chat went through. God damn it, James. Please check out the Dank OC Donut Steel. Rip stream me, and there's a video link. Oh, we've been going about two and a half hours. I, I, I'm trying to get caught up on Super Chats. I'm getting distracted by people eating disgusting shit and PSA videos from Avaland <laughs> of people about I, riding bikes in the street and shit. Um, so <laughs> I'm just going to try to focus on this for a little bit. From Rights Right, Obligatory, Purple 7 Filth, Pause My Eyes with Ebola, Uwu, Rodson, Lull the Brits Can't Masturbate in Clown World, Rip and Pepperoni England. From Fanmaster Fuhrer, Super Chat for Super Clap, Nate Spiney, YouTube is giving me free money to give to you. How ironic. Mark C to DSP's wife, stream with him. If you are being held against your will, blink twice. 
from Cyprus. He outlived one of your oldest LP channels. Two best friends play as well. It's crazy how this guy persists. I'm happy for him. Yep, uh, it, it's amazing. He's still around, still kicking, still doing well. Mr. Unite for the children. Part of the prenup was no 911 or 911 calls for ambulance. From Skirth the Squid, Puppet Fap at two, er, 613. Well, we saw the original source, so I think we're, I think we're good on that. From Digger John, the closest Phil will come to playing chess, bopping the bishop. Bow Wow, what are your thoughts on the epic stream, or er, steam shit? I, like, I get it. People have concerns. I don't like the ex er, exclusivity. Um, I think it's kind of shitty, but that's just because I'm so used to using Steam. I've been on Steam for like seven or eight years now. Um, you know, the, the thing that really concerns me, I guess, the only valid cons uh, complaint that I have uh, is Tencent having a part of Epic and Epic having the store. I'm really wary of Chinese investors and companies. I don't know how good their data protection is. I don't know who exactly is completely in control of the store. Uh, Sweeney, is it? Whoever the fuck it is made some comments that were kind of cocky, saying that users and customers <clears throat> uh, wouldn't decide who the winner was. It would be producers and content uh, creators, you know, game developers. Kind of came off as a bit bitchy. Um, I, I don't know. We'll have to see. I will say this. If you have an Epic uh, Store account, you get a free game every two weeks. So theoretically, you could go make an account, never buy anything, and at the end of the year have, you know, uh, a decent amount of games, 25 games to fuck around with, 26 games to fuck around with. Um, I don't know how good the games are. I couldn't tell you if it's the best selection, but, you know, free shit is free shit. Uh, Waldorf floor, Waldorf floor. You know what's better than watching a man touch himself on stream? Just jacking it while watching another man watch the first. Doom guy, thoughts on Blizzard banning players for OK sign? I don't know how they're going to ban people for doing something their characters in game do. Zenyatta does that in his meditation pose. So, you, are you gonna go? Are they gonna go fix the animation for Zenyatta? You don't want. Is the robot giving a white power sign when he's uh, doing a fucking uh, <laughs> fucking uh, match? Like, it's stupid. It's just fucking stupid. Digger John watching Phil cranking is the ultimate in birth control. Megas twelve thousand BC. You forgot about Phil taxi story on the way to the hospital. Yeah, I missed a little lore there. Uh, Jackass, Phil's new wife looks like a mail-order bride from Albania. Galdor, press S to spit on DSP. Rodson, Jim, please show my GoFundMe. I have gout. I need money. From Seth Does Meth. Hey, Jim, I just want to look at... Uh, I just want you to look at CHW Backyard Wrestling 10. Uh, Genie in the Lamp match. It's good fun. Well, I'll try to check it out. Reichel the Wolf. Probably butcher that. Uh, Sesame Street introduces their new member to the show, Dark Side Puppet. From Joe Dirt. Hey, Jimbo. There's an anime con in my city. I wish I had a custom black cap with you on it. Jimbo, for my commute. Uh, people have made hats. Uh, again, you can go out, buy a black hat, get a white marker, and put a couple stars on it. It, <laughs> it works pretty fucking straightforward. Uh, Lords of Voids. Love your work. Glad you are still streaming. From GC, Faceless Man. Your grooming will no longer work on me. The stepfather has shown me the truth. The liberalist cause will SAV or save the West. From Cybrov, market that puppet. Jason Weaver, press S to praise Medicarist Murdochian archiver Palmer Eldrick and others always keeping us up or in the loop. Respect for the right wing archive squad. Miss Meadow Kitty, I wonder which of the 13 tribes DSP is a part of. Oy vey, how dare they charge me for services rendered. Asthmatic Jew voice. From Jay, what did DSP's plumber cost for his bacon grease? Uh, it didn't cost him a thing. His donators probably took care of it. From Ocean Kitty. Have you ever heard about Jerry Pete, a transgender YouTube reviewer, forced a schizophrenic to draw bestiality porn? I <laughs> got... What? I've heard of Jerry Pete, yes. But let me let me just phrase... Let me say what you just put up again. A transgendered YouTube reviewer forced a schizophrenic to draw bestiality porn and got caught writing MLP CP. That is a mouthful. I, I guess I haven't been paying enough attention to Jerry Pete. I'll have to go take a look. Uh, Alex Blackfoot. Don't know if it's sent earlier, but it's my friend Holly's birthday, so could you call her a basketball American for me? I'm fairly certain I did say that earlier. Uh, guess what, 87? They drodged her. Regional manager Sargoy of Akak. My suit brings all the skeptics to the Applebee's, and it's like better than Jim's, and I could teach you about politics, but I have a table to wait on now. From Chikai, bugged hospital mechanics, it's Tevin's fault. Cybrov, thanks for turning me on to baby metal. I'm glad you enjoy it. 
Uh, though I think the group is done now. One of the girls got sick, and I think they're replacing one of the other ones. I don't know. The lead vocalist is the core of it. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure. I, I Again, I'm, I'm sketchy on it because I don't really pay super close attention, but I'm fairly certain one of them got sick, had some kind of a medical condition that's forcing them to quit. From Little Littlers. Oh dear, it appears I found footage of Mr. Eric Butts laughing at the Holocaust. It's so terrible. Check my recent uploads. I will definitely do that. What am I doing? I think DSP married Fred Fox. It's the only way to explain this. This is the most elaborate troll yet. You know what? Now I'm curious. Uh, let's see what the Eric Butts laughing at Hitler <laughs> video looks like. Uh, this is something somebody sent in. I don't know if it's any good. We'll take a look. Looks like it's only two minutes long. Let's find out. Hey everybody, welcome to a very special trailer reaction, and yes, I'm on vacation, but it's happened. We're here today to watch the first, finally, the first teaser for Star Wars Episode Nine. <laughs> We've passed on all we know. Very dark already. Ooh. A thousand generations live in you now. <laughs> but this is your fight. Reactions, Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gonna have to take a break on that one before I get shown from YouTube. <laughs> Fucking edited in Holocaust footage. Oh, poor Eric Butts, what are you doing? I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read through about 20 more of these, and I'm gonna delete this video as fast as I can. Let's see if I can beat YouTube and their, and their squad. Here we go. Dr. Valence, watch Grapefruit Technique, worth it. From Odeker, it's an outro I made just for you. Just faget YouTube. Extremely happy Simmer. Thought my first one didn't make it. Tell Sean to eat my pussy tomorrow. Uh, will do. From Michael Club, hey Jim, a question. How short is a manlet? They're 5'11 and less, right? Andy Worski is a manlet, isn't he? Also, what's the opposite of a manlet? Jake Paul, check out Nip Lambert's Mudhole Revisit 2015. Sean Turner, look up Weed Colossal is crazy for the cook, choking his kid and making his nose bleed. Off your stream, your stream. His channel is really good. From Vanquish 1, Yoka Kinshana eats more than, than that huge dark woman. Zug Zug Zugason, that mighty Babo branch shall comply them. Alan Fitzgerald, is this what Wings ate for his grandma to fly out to break up his turd? Uh, might be. Hawaiian Blot, uh, Bliot, Jim, I swear to Allah, if you don't make Aunt Myrna's dish and have a Cooking with Jim segment, I will place a fatwa on you and your femboy. Daniel Burks, it's called mukbang, Jim. The Koreans intended it for uh, pretty young girls to do, not flat, or fat black chicks in America. Mike Oxlong, are you going to vote, Yusberg? Atari Dad, the South Koreans started eating video streams. I'm trying my best to get through these. Uh, Lord of Simone, please, Jim, make the salad. It's going to uh, haunt your thoughts till you satisfy your curiosity. Sean Turner. Jim, the dude with the cooking video, put his hands on his kid, choked him out, made his nose bleed because he smoked a little weed and yelling at his mom. We'll take a look at the next stream, if there is a next stream. From Steph Deb, why is there a washer and dryer in that man's kitchen? How do we miss this? Cypress, I can watch that commie omelet, or come omelet video, but not that. Some guy pure weaponized autism watch the perfect SimCity 3000 city. Rocky Desert Flower, why you make fun of people? Uh, because it's entertaining. Martin Smogger, Lil Jim, you should see when Jack was on the Shark Tank for Rednecks. Read two more here. Mike's content, can you call my cousin Corey Barnhill a pedo? Uh, well, there you go. And the Ghost Black Ops, search for Fresh Out, Did Big Hero Bust Cheeks? is a YouTube series of ex-cons talking about prison life. Remember to call someone a nigar today. 
I am sorry if I missed your super chat. Probably watching the edited Holocaust video. Might have been a bit ballsy in the middle of a stream while I still had some to do. Uh, but somebody did link it, and I thought I would do them uh, the favor of watching the video on stream. <laughs> Will there be another stream? Who knows? Uh, but you made it to this one. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Uh, I will have a video up on Sunday, so uh, be sure to check that out if you get an opportunity to. Uh, I don't know when I'll stream next. Uh, probably going to focus on videos. Again, one this Sunday, one next Sunday. Also have the interview with David Stay coming up, the actor who played Mandar on Photon. Uh, so we will take a look at that. Uh, either way, have a wonderful weekend. Hopefully, if you're into Mortal Kombat, you're going to enjoy the launch that's coming up. And I will see you all again.